it's uh, yeah, this high fricking time that we uh, deck right back into uh, the world of ex-pirates. Because we have a quite interesting month ahead of us. I keep saying this, I feel like, every single month, but um, our research is finally starting to tick up. Which is quite fantastic, and we are reaching uh, new topics that uh, a few months ago I could only dream of at this point. Uh, we're getting power station currently, which is quite exciting, and I also really would like to get both a refinery and an industrial printer, which I think is going to be our current goals. The things that we're going to be doing ASAP, uh, the cream of the crop? I don't know. Um, it's, it's things I, I would love to get. I'm very excited for this. I'm incredibly excited. I feel like base building and the stuff that we have available to us is quite stagnant. Please ignore that last base. Uh, you know, on the topic of base building, it's ongoing. Uh, <laughs> can't wait to lose the base. Yeah, let's not talk about it. Then it won't happen, right? That being said, though, otherwise we're doing relatively good. Um, enslaving is going relatively decent. We're finally kicking some people out because we have no longer use for them. Hey there, Necros and RS6 Siege. I get the feeling that everyone in normal matchmaking has freaking aimbots. Of course, of course, that's that's the thing with uh, shooters, right? I've I've seen people who are so good at games. Um, I've watched them play games that are so good. They're so good at games. It seems like they have an aimbot. They're just so incredibly good. It's awful to play against them. Um, it can be quite frustrating. It's one of the reasons why I don't play competitive shooters. But yeah, um, enslaving is going quite fantastic. Well, that and I'm really bad at competitive shooters. <laughs> uh, really, really bad. Uh, let's make sure that our uh, inter not interrogations, or um, training is up to spec, and then we're gonna take a peek at our notes here. Um, yeah, survey room is also something that needs to uh, happen soon enough. Hello, sir. For oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 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 It's too early for this. It's too early for this. Absolutely too early for this. Absolutely too early for this. Ay 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 ay. I'm too old. I'm too damn old. Sounds like a scam. No. You won't say. I, I don't even know if it's a scam. It's just promotion that I don't give two craps about. It's absolutely uh... a... <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. It used to be so easy to report people. It used to be so easy and straightforward. You just hit a button and you're done. Now it's like I got hit like eight. And it doesn't even fix the message either. Hmm. This is why I don't like dealing with these type of people. Oh, here we go. That's the button I was looking for. I'm doing so something completely different. Either way, problem solved. Let's move on, shall we? Ah, <laughs> uh, they look weird. I vote to shoot them. He's been shot. There is no voting necessary. It's unanimous. Where were we? Where were we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Power station, surgery room, uh, industrial printer, uh, refinery, those are the big fours. Everything else is optional. We're still waiting for uh, the secret deal, and we have a bandit town that we're immediately going to dive into. So I hope you guys are ready, because I sure as hell am <laughs> not ready at all. Um, but that doesn't stop me from trying. We're, uh, we're gonna have quite a bit of fun, hopefully. We're gonna take a bunch of newbies with us, but they're gonna be wearing Necro, uh, Necro Samurai armors. Oh man. Okay, let's get us geared up. So yeah, since this is a new month, I did have the possibility to hire a bunch of additional cat girls, which I find quite important. Uh, the advantage of having cat girls in this particular case is the more the merrier they should be the bulk of my forces um, when we don't have to worry about things like, you know, poison gas grenades. But the more we have, the more flexibility it provides because quite often I feel like I'm actually relatively low on cat girls. Both because they tend to get wounded but also because um, they, they die. They die, yeah. Rip tantalizing hollow. Uh, 
you won't be forgotten. Okay, um, this is uh, this team we're gonna be running with. We're gonna have some fly cats, but otherwise, Neko Samurai armor. Let's uh, do this. Hope everything seems and sounds okay. Hope you guys uh, are ready uh, for probably like four hours of pain. I feel like the game has really kicked up its difficulty starting in year two, which is both good and bad. Uh, we seem way more plasma weapons uh, than I'd like to admit. But easy missions like Bandit Towns are very much welcome. I think we're just mostly going to be running around with shotguns. Uh, stunning shotguns, apparently. That shouldn't be an issue. And I'm picking shotguns because that's probably the best option I have on quickly subduing people. But otherwise, uh, let's do this. Uh, there's going to be two reinforcement waves. Let's keep that in mind. Get people prepped. And uh, yeah, let's get uh, to ass kicking. Do some ass kicking. Hey, it's Bleeding Foot uh, Purper. I am going to be taking a risk keeping my uh, flying cat girls up here. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything else to add. Hope everybody's doing pretty well today though. I feel incredibly dead. I actually do feel incredibly dead, surprisingly, uh, surprisingly enough. That's a great cat skin by the way, look at- ah shit you can see it, but um, look at that cat skin. Pretty, pretty great if you ask me. I probably could use one or two more people to uh, guard the front entrance, but let's do this. So yeah, there's gonna be a few reinforcement ways we gotta deal with, but otherwise we're gonna be fine. Too bad we didn't take a shot at the guy. Oh, that's better. Brigands remain a big problem. Okay, um... And that, it, wow, okay, we instantly found the bandit boss. That's interesting, to say the least. Uh, flying cat crawls. Yeah, I'm probably gonna rely on flying cat crawls, or maybe if we're lucky we can actually pull out the, um, the mega rifle. So it doesn't look like we're in a good position to use an mega rifle. Yeah, that came a bit as a surprise to me. This uh, ding dingus showing up. Bloodhounds are a very big problem. So in case it isn't obvious, um, yeah, that is that is not a good situation to be in. Alright, Spotted Yarn is going to sacrifice herself for the greater good, I suppose. I spot uh, two Bloodhounds that I need to be concerned about. Alright, Omega Rifle. Wait, who do we see? Bloodhound? Okay, I see. The angle is probably a bit too tight. Alright, so far, um, not good. So far, not good. I was really, really hoping we could do more damage to these people. Yeah, the bandit bulls is a problem that we need to deal with. That's kind of like the main issue here. 
I do have somebody who could deal with it, but um It really would have hinged on the fleeting foot being able to pull it off. Yep. Okay. Well, hmm. How do I how do I do this? How do I do this? I am actually uh, I, I don't actually have a good plan here. Eh, close enough. Those weapons don't look like rocket launchers. They should have been. They probably should have been. Okay. So the bloodhounds are going to actually be a rather large issue for me, unfortunately. And I might actually need to go and fetch me some um, explosives. Uh, sorry, blades. Fireball launchers would have been quite nice, I'll admit. Somebody just shot me inside my craft and I could not see them. Oh yeah. Having a bit of a blast with that unfortunately. So it's probably the Redman that actually did the shooting there. Ooh, okay, the Humongous Raider is a priority target that has to go. And last time I tried to deal with the Humongous Raider, it didn't end too well for me, so this is gonna be interesting. What I mean is, uh, we weren't able to kill him back then. Ooh, that is gonna hurt. That indeed is gonna hurt. Okay, well I think I might actually just gotta hope for the best there, as much as it sucks. Yeah, let's just hope for the best. Reinforcements alert. Okay, so far so good. Uh, friendly reminder, uh, we're after the um, this guy. Come on, pal. And he actually shot back. Come on, just die. They're having a they're having a lot of issues just dying. Thank you. They're big boys. Okay, that's good news though. Um, otherwise we have a bunch of regular people. I need to be wary of people with large shotguns. That might actually pose to be a bit of a problem. I think the big issue here is that I'm using way too many, uh, way too many plane shotguns. I think I overestimated. I overestimated exactly how many, how many I brought with me. I guess we can also have spotted yarn uh, move up and take a few uh, pot shots. We 
we're gonna lose people. <laughs> like that, that guy. There should be one more reinforcement waves and then we're good to go. Um, so I do want to eliminate brigands that are dangerous, like that guy. Come on. And I really, really am disliking the UAC carbine um, in this particular case. Hey, there was a bloodhound up there. Maybe I can get lucky and actually pop the bloodhound. That'd be beautiful. I am so disappointed that we seem to be struggling just uh, landing basic kills. The roof is on fire? Yeah, actually. He needs your help to get down. Eight, uh, six feet down, right? Kneeling is really helping here with line of sight. Um, I think that Brigand might be a bit of an issue. I think he's wearing a Tommy, or he's carrying a Tommy, not wearing it, he's carrying a Tommy. Yep. Ah, there you go. I like how there's just bodies laying around here. Uh, we've been doing a pretty good job. I did mention one more reinforcements wave, I do believe. Another brigand, another brigand. Be a bit more quiet. Um, I don't like this pistol. I don't like the big iron. It does way too much damage. have to deal with it for now. Okay. Sure. I think the Manda can be down here as well. There's the second reinforcements. Yeah, so he did get a shot and he just missed. 44 damage is pretty high. Well, I think it's time for us to start moving out, so this is what I'm thinking. We deal with people like Drifters and Big Irons, we deal with people like uh, the Brigands and the Manstopper. Uh, those are pretty painful guns. And once we drop those people to the ground, uh, it should be open season. <coughs> it should be open season on the rest of them. You know, that is if we keep hitting, um, yeah, <laughs> which is not our strongest, uh, strongest suit to be fair. A uh, guy with a big shotgun as well. Okay, um, let's go for Mr. Big Shotgun. Oh no, 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 no. He's way worse, he's way worse. He has a freaking, um, he has an old tank buster. That scares me, that absolutely scares me. So the guy with the RPG needs to die. Or blow up friendlies. Note to self. Move magnetic, uh, magnetic. Tank buster, but we aren't a tank. Well, we can, we are bustable. That's the, that's the problem here. I think that is the underlying problem.
Holy smokes. Alright, so that problem's been solved, and now we have one more problem that we got to deal with, which is the second humongous raider, and once we pop him, we should be home free. I say very uh, confidently. So yeah, pop, 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 watch them explode. That, by the way, was a quad kill, I do believe. Alright. Well, actually, triple kill. Because one of them didn't bleed out. Or uh, one of them is bleeding out. Was good, though. Alright, so there is panic, um, there's a bunch of people we could be dealing with. And first of all, let's find the slave Lesher. Oh, and the Brigand, I guess. The Brigand is also important to drop. I feel like it's just not worthwhile for me to um, shoot a gun. Look at that, just miss, miss, miss. And then right off the armor, that's the, cru the cruelest joke of them all. Ay, ay, ay. Eh, close enough. Pop, 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 watch them drop, right back to sleep. Same goes for you. Um, by the way, notice that I lost track of the, um, the Humongous Raider. Ah, shit, I did not lose track of him. He's right there. This might actually become really nasty real quickly. I could potentially just step, step out and we start to deal with him, but in this particular case, um, I also got to deal with the home front rifle and god knows what else. Let's just hope he doesn't get close to me. I think everybody otherwise is practically done. We just find the bloodhounds. Um, we find the bloodhounds and then we find anybody else who hasn't uh, mentally broken yet. Yeah, we're fucked. Absolutely fucked. Any chance that maybe no nope, coughing herring just didn't decide to shoot him? There we go. Ooh, double kill apparently. Okay, so with the last one uh, out and about, I feel rather confident that we can just finish this. Uh, we don't have any additional ammo. I don't think there's more ammo for me to pick up. Uh, got to deal with Mr. Snubby over here. That should not be a problem. As I said, that should not be a problem. And now we can finally leave our craft. It's been a long time coming, but here it is. Freedom. And we also keep an eye out for Bloodhounds. Bloodhounds will be a bit more difficult to kill, just because... Uh, just because uh, Bloodhounds do have a very high natural armor, which means the bullet rounds that we're using, the rubber bullet rounds, just won't be as effective. Uh, that's why I need to rely on the Omega Rifle. Right, Fleeting Burper, I'm gonna need your expertise. Ah, fuck me. Well, shit. That's not what I needed her expertise for, but here we are. 
A friendly reminder, we can still get uh, grenaded. Yeah, that requires me to uh, turn in place. Hmm, I don't like where this is going, I'll be honest. Those were some really good stun hits, but that's not going to be enough. Um, we can attempt to go for a double pop 40, but uh, as you can see, there is no good double pop opportunities. Oh yeah, yep. This is how it ends, isn't it? Oh yeah, his natural armor is a bit too high. Okay, well, in my defense I tried, I guess. But yeah, most likely we're gonna get nated here, which is gonna cost me a uh, cat gross, and it's only because... Uh, because of this bastard. By the way, one bullet. All I need is one bullet to penetrate his armor, I'm pretty sure he's gonna go down. Well, let's... Shit, I wanna say let's not double down on this, but I might just wanna double down. I'm sorry, irked. Yeah, yeah. Okay, anybody with time units left, or did I just blast through everybody? I think I blasted through everybody, so I guess we're gonna get blasted through ourselves. Yeah, we're gonna get blasted through ourselves. Rip. There's only the open chance that he might panic, but I doubt it. Drifters, do uh, sorry, uh, highwaymen don't tend to panic that quickly. That was a nade. So there you go. Boom. That was another nade. And we have two nades. And the hitman. Oof. So we lost alert sausage in the Fuzu armor nonetheless. Yeah, right on top of her. That is incredibly cruel. Not very happy with that. Absolutely not happy with that. But overall, we, we did get naded quite severely, and only two people uh, two people hurt uh, with fatal wounds. So I think, like, all things considered, this went, uh, could have gone a lot worse. But he threw, he threw a grenade, and the brigand threw a grenade. Yeah, um, as I said before, we went just basically way too light on our, um, we went way too light on our, uh, equipment. Or maybe it was this other guy, um, yeah. Exactly, too much stun, not enough pew pews. Um, I actually... Fuck off. I actually consciously chose for more uh, stun because I was hoping that we could farm more uh, firing firing stuff with it. But I guess that is just costing me um, 42. Bloodhound, by the way. Shit. Alright. Uh, 
let's at least try to spread out a bit further. It's sad because I knew exactly what was happening and I let it happen. Just to show you how little stun he got, it took two bullets to eliminate him. Any melee weapons on people? No. No melee weapons, which is the other very embarrassing part. Oh, haha, <laughs> yes, right. Actually, I do have one melee weapon, which is punch. But since these are new cat girls, well, punch is not that useful. Yeah, right, that doesn't work, that doesn't work. Focus, focus, focus. Hey there, Shira, it's been a while. What are you doing? Hmm. Hmm. But I've sworn I had more, uh. I had one more Ketko fly around, didn't I? Yeah, there she is. Two bullets left, that's not good. And stay dead. So, uh, 72. Oh jeez, that is, uh, that's a lot of time units. Alright, come on RNG. Thank you. I just got back from the gym and I'm dead. How are your boobies today? They're dying. They're, they're definitely dying. Mm. Yeah, eat crap! <laughs> that actually felt very satisfying. Okay. Um, again, let's spread out. Let's make sure that we're not stacked too tightly. I'm not too concerned about the majority of these people. Let's keep up the good work here. Uh, we'll probably play this a bit with reaction fires if we can. And uh, yeah, that will be that. That will be that. We have the Hitman, we have the RPG. Um, We have the uh, tank buster guy. I don't think there's anything else uh, left. Oh boy. This can only end poorly. So there is definitely still a bloodhound about, we just gotta find them and the two brigands, I guess. Or... Are you for fucking real? Across the... That's it. That's it. Um, playing nice is officially over. Playing nice is officially over. Cat girls, murder mode. I'm done. Where is he? Where is that absolute piece of junk? I, w I was going easy on these people. I was going easy. Showing the mercy. And what do I get in return? Can we, like, not miss for five seconds? That, that would be fantastic. Alright, you piece of junk. Where are you? There you are. I, I don't understand why my cat girls decide that today is the day that they're going to be missing absolutely everything. Come on, please. It sucks that we lost two cat girls, two new ones as well. Um, how could he grenade and shoot reactions? It's the other guy that, that threw the grenade. Yeah, so there uh, they took it. Freaking cat girl with them uh, before they decided to finally surrender. Got good accuracy and reactions out of it. Unfortunately, we didn't uh, get to keep our other two cat girls, which are uh, goners. 
Uh, five hoes though, that's quite important uh, for tough guys. I really just rather kill them on the spot. And one brigand, but well, get what we get. That's the problem, I should have had more uh, lethal damage. Well, that would be a... Uh, that would be a reminder for next time. That would serve as a reminder for next time, yeah. Only two. And they were newbies. It was their first mission. I was hoping that uh, the, the armor that I would give them the... Um, and the Neko armor would have made them more safe, but... I might as well just give them like a nude outfit because it didn't make a difference. I say, they actually survived lots of shotgun shots. Alright, um, that's it. Move on. Oh, you even blew up one of my assault shotguns, you son of a bitch. Wait. I don't have enough frag grenades? That's weird. Fix that some other day. A bomber, veteran, public enemy, patient, ice cold killer, black widow, murderer, and a bunch of other things, but we did lose these to alert sausage and helping Tama. They both they both are space cadets. Now, as unfortunate as that loss is, we cannot get more cat crows. Uh, so I'm gonna take outlaw cat crows, and on top of that, we're also gonna get some additional fuzu armor. I'm probably gonna take four for additional plate armor. Okay, so yes, an Imperial probe. Let's shoot it down. I'm just kidding, we're gonna follow it. <laughs> I made the mistake once, let's not make it again. Hey, look at that, some more people who are back. Didn't go for a party though. Orbital mission, speak about unfortunate timing. Let's get the Firefox and go to outer space as well. How many cat girls can I get? Uh, let me guess, my stupid ass didn't actually buy more space cat girl outfits, did, did I? Probably didn't. I said I would and I probably never did. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, where's my spacesuits? Where's my spacesuits at? Did I never actually ship over my spacesuits? You gotta be kidding me. That son of a gun. Well, let's hope that the spacesuits arrive before you know uh, the mission disappears. I will literally not forgive myself if the mission disappears before my spacesuits are there. Did you push me into a grenade again? Um. No, I just gave you some time off. You wanted a vacation, you kept asking about it. Education and culture. Person of culture. Library is perfect place to educate minds, curious and striving for truth. Jesus, with this music in the background, it's killing me. This training requires for a participant to have at least 45 voodoo power and take two weeks off. It's mutually exclusive with nepotism and simpleton. It will cost 25 signs. Besides making a person more cultured this way, it teaches the students several useful things, like how to maintain their armor better, plus one to all armor values. It trains some stats to the max starting values and gives permanent bonuses to the same stats plus two voodoo skill. Some races think themselves too smart or too proud to participate. Well, it's pretty, pretty okay. Pretty okay. this music. Let's do some Asta Erotica. And let's talk in a bit about refineries and the likes. Humanist leader. While the lower ranks can claim that they're only following orders, these are the guys who give said orders. They're very well trained to combat and fanatical in their devotion to racial puri uh, purity ideology. Thankfully, their fancy black uniforms have no protection value whatsoever and look much better when sprayed in blood anyways.
ho 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 We got ourselves some best crafted weapon parts. That's incredible. Also, Origins of Top Tracks. We we'll slap two people on it. Damsel's Magician Training, a magician! Uh, damsels might not be the best soldiers, but they have one advantage. Vivid imagination. With the blessings of the Nine Moons and the Library of Astoratic Knowledge, they can be turned into better mages. Better doesn't necessarily mean great. The Lochners are also allowed this training, but they approach it differently. They become shroom-abusing night shamans. Min a voodoo power of 52 and 77 freshness required. The Night Vision plus one is incredible. Might not seem like much, but plus one can make all the difference. Uh, the Crypt Data this, the White Father, one of the eight celestial spirits of the Narlock Pantheon, the God of Temperance, Humility and Brotherhood. He teaches about those uh, about simple living, he guides those seeking atonement for their sins and doesn't turn down any petitioner who is honest in their words. His vice is possessiveness. Ah, okay, 151. Running out of storage space is not a question of if, but when. But how to avoid being overwhelmed by chaos? The answer is sorting. That is a very important tip, by the way. 151. Ho ho ho. VIP Cleopatra. Okay, I'm just gonna fast forward right now. Until this damn thing is willing to land. <laughs> There we go, finally. Peace of mind. Peace of absolute mind. Fantastic. Nice and quiet. So, basic gun training is not for everybody. And we recently unlocked some uh, transformations. I do like good music, I just don't like it blasting in my ears when I'm trying to read. So we have Peasant Chaplain training right over here. And we have Education and Culture. That does require a library, right? Yes it does. Wait. No one who can do a peasant and chaplain training, that doesn't sound right. Probably because the damsels are hurt, right? No. Huh. Huh. Maybe we're just lacking the voodoo power. Anyways. Orbital mission. Um when do my uh when do my spacesuits arrive? Five hours. Don't they have to already be chaplain rank? Um, I thought I had some chaplains. Yeah, here we go. One chaplain at least. Oh wow, we only have one chaplain. Hmm. Yeah, it's a bit of an issue, but we can manage. And then there is also the um, education and culture. Which we're gonna have to slap some people on. Uh, we're gonna have to do with some people. Which kind of makes me tempted to just simply build a library in this base, so we can at least get those uh, transformations. But it might be a bit of a ballsy move. No, will it be? Yeah, we can build a library. It should not be an issue. All right, let's liquidate some uh, some assets. Okay, that looks pretty good. Looks pretty good as well. Yeah, exactly. Nothing wrong with one more brainer space, even if I need to tear it down in the future. Um, right now it can actually be quite useful. Provides 50 storage spaces, what's the issue? Oh, haha, we don't have 950, we have 925. I see. Well... If 
by the way, most of my uh, storage space is coming from my slave AIs. Well, ship engines can probably also go. I have lots of them. Nice cache, by the way. Let's see if we can actually build a library right on top of the outpost. Yes, we can. Since that will be done in 11 days, I'm already going to pick up a brainer. And then we can continue that in the near future. And then we have research. Uh, so one of the things that I've been particularly interested in when it comes to research has been the... Not the brainer. The refinery. Which requires advanced chemistry. Which requires uh, these two arrows to be researched and the heavy flamer. Now the heavy flamer we should be able to research already. Oh, and this is where uh Firebomb, okay. Well, let's slap three people in firebomb. By the way, uh, it might actually uh, be a good idea for me to keep old earth books going as well. And we can finally get the bootleg, uh, bootleg laser disc going. Yeah, 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 we can finally get the bootleg laser disc going. So I do believe that I have three of them. Oh, or maybe I only had one? Really? Yeah, I only had one. Damn. No, no, we're not gonna we're not gonna do this yet. I don't even dare to cancel the project anymore. Uh how about we finally finish uh stun grenades? We need it for knockout grenades. Well, how about we first contact the rogues, uh, fields warlords, we need it for white dragon. And yes, slavery was the next thing that we were gonna work on, uh, because we have a bunch of new slaves to tap. Brigand, check. Um, and then Pimpcraft, we have four hoes and a captive maiden. Actually, do I want to interrogate captive maiden? Nope. Pimp, pimp. Pimp. And then we can also recruit some uh, tough guys to work for us. We'll make it 10 hours. There we go. And then I think over here we actually have some megapole still that we can enslave, right? No, no we don't. Recruit cat girl. All right, onwards and upwards. In that case, onwards and upwards. So first of all, we have a imperial probe on a mission which is called Hell's Keep. So this is going to be a nasty one. But it should probably be doable. Sort by missions, clear all of this out, and we're gonna be taking a bunch of um, bossy gals with us. Let's start with bossy gals. I'm actually now debating whether or not I should be taking the Firefox instead. Actually, very tempted to take the Firefox instead. Yeah. So I'm purposely avoiding taking uh, cat warriors with me, so I can send them to space, the final frontier. But I might need to uh, budge a little bit on that, which means no flying armors, which is what I'm very disappointed about. 
maybe we'll take uh, two cat girls with us. So yeah, I was actually kind of planning to have um, both these cat girls join us in space. Not gonna be it. All right, let's do this. I could have also taken the car with me, but I decided not to. <laughs> so, let's actually equip ourselves a proper shall we? Which usually involves shotguns. Hmm. How about we use a weapon that actually has decent aim? Miniguns will be funny, but not funny enough. I'm actually thinking of giving my ogre a heavier weapon to use. Boom gun. That's not even a question. Boom gun. Have I ever mentioned I absolutely love the boom gun? Um, yeah. I think the boom gun is a fantastic weapon. Alright, uh, and then Omega Rifles for people. And let's check out the dark ones. Um, so what I'm kind of curious about is they take more damage from burn, which means that most likely what we want to do is we want to take fire with us. I'm just not a big fan of using fire in these type of scenarios, but it doesn't look like I have much of a choice. That stings, that really stings, I should have paid attention. Um, we might just simply be running with a... Um, a very basic light gun setup. I wonder if I should be using the LACC, which we don't have with us. No, um, she's actually going to be running melee. Once we enter the tower, melee might actually make a lot of sense. LACC with Pete. Willy Pete's? Oh man, really? That heavy. Careful, I keep waking the kids up. Mm, sniper rifle. No, um, we're gonna be using the Omega rifle. So, I actually will prefer to use the Omega rifle in this particular case over sniper rifle because um, once we're inside the tower, a sniper rifle is gonna be useless. Yep, Sparrow Duster knows where it's at. Fantastic. I'm, I'm just, I'd like to go on record to say this right now. I'm not happy about this. But, that's what we're going to be using. Man, I wish I had another custom SMG to take with me. So we're going to make a slight... Uh, I'm absolutely blind. I'm absolutely blind there. I wish we had another uh, SMG, uh, custom SMG to take with us. Meanwhile, six inside my craft. Oops. And obviously napalm grenades. Okay, so let's talk. Uh, let's talk game here for a moment. We have RPGs, we have explosives, uh, but we're going to be facing an enemy of unmatched and unknown peril. It will always gaze at me with its one particular eye and uh, I will be traumatized for the rest of my life.
So yeah, that's one of the people I'm not forward to, uh, looking forward to fight. Uh, one more thing, I am not carrying any fire extinguishers. Which is going to become a really big issue. This particular case, I do not want to use reaction fire. In this particular case, I don't want to use reaction fire either. Yeah, um, fire extinguishers might become a problem. Also, I'm pretty sure I had two RPGs. Where's my second one? Here. I think I have a rough idea what this mission is about, but we'll see. Yikes, by the way, on the Glam, uh, glam Rail Gun. She has no freshness. Oh yeah, 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 I got this mission right. I absolutely got this mission right. I actually did not expect this mission uh, to look like this. I'll admit, didn't expect this mission to look like this. Uh, so what what can we learn from this right right off the bat? Help. Let's keep. So Indomitable Phoenix is probably going to sacrifice herself. For the greater good. Yep. For the greater good. That did not look like an incendiary rocket to me. Why did that not look like an incendiary rocket to me? I mean, if it works, it works, right? But yeah, I was kind of expecting an incendiary rocket to uh, help me out here. Hmm. Alrighty. Message received. You said you're blind, that's why. Or maybe that's why, yeah. That is a very valid point. Um, should have known. Alright, well we had a good opening move, quite happy with that. Okay. Decent enough follow-up. Fireman at least has burn resistance. Nope. Hmm. Okay, so we're just gonna slow play this in that particular case. I do wonder if I can actually take a step down and shoot at them. I don't think I can. I would really like to kill uh, this imp up here, but I don't think uh, I don't think that's going to happen. It will take me too many time units to even get up there. Well, maybe. Okay, I did actually not expect. Um, him to be able to instantly fire at me. 
Okay, um, that is a load of bullshit that I'm not very happy with. Why would you keep going back up, up, up and up when I tell you not to fucking go back up, up and up? I'm a bit worried about Dick, but otherwise uh, it's fine. Alright, let's keep uh, the good stuff rolling, shall we? Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have uh, done that last, last part. Maybe I should have just been patient. Either way. Looks like we'll finish this later. Good, very, very good. Alright, you guys are fine. That is fantastic. And now we hunt. As much as we can anyways. I should have checked behind me. Let me check behind me. Pinky and Imp. The Imp has to go. Okay, we did a terrible job at making the Imp go. Um... That's alright, I guess. Rocket that imp, not yet. Little bitch did a spin. But he did not win! <laughs> that was terrible. Uh, that was incredibly terrible, I'm sorry. I actually thought that we didn't get him, and then we did. It's like a story unfolding in two parts. Okay, let's see what else we can do here. Such a good RPG. At least one imp we gotta deal with. At least one imp. Wait, where's number three? Oh, I see. Okay. I think using the golden SMGs would have been a better option here, but I have no regrets. Okay, alright, let's do this. Gonna, could have gone better, could have definitely gone worse, so it's okay. Now that, that was perfect. Napalm grenades uh, are actually quite handy. Could have guessed. Alright, kitty, kitty, kitty cats. Um, I need you to move back inside, otherwise uh, you're gonna die. Absolutely beautiful shots, though. That is really good. Alright, one more and then we run. Nope. I may or may not have changed my mind here. 
much as I had to admit it, I may or may not have changed my mind here, and I think I do want to move away from um, the downside area or this down area. If one imp shows up, uh, they could potentially fire blast me, which means they will fire blast inside my craft and a bunch of people will burn. Worst case scenario, he can do it multiple times. And then uh, still a shitty fire imp shows up. A shitty fire imp shows up. Okay, uh, we'll deal with the Master Sergeant um, and the remainder people inside the for fortress. There you go, look at that. Crafty crap. Okay, this mission uh, went a lot better than I expected. So, the mission that I originally had in mind was the one with the castle. It, it was called Hell's Keep, so I figured it's the one with the castle where you have uh, eyeballs floating around. Or alternatively, it's the big tower. Where you have to climb the tower. But my mind was mostly set on the tower itself. I did not expect uh, something like this, not even remotely. Bump. Yeah. Alright, laser. Laser light show. Okay, and then we wait. Good mission though, very good mission if we can uh, finish this without incurring any more uh, wounds. Indomitable Phoenix did take a bit of damage and Dick also took a bit of damage. I think like 20 HP damage, probably. Alright, so with all that said and done, we probably gotta go and check what's around us. Or more precisely, enter the Fortress of Doom. It feels like a Fortress of Doom at least. But nothing we can't handle, I think. Alright, let's get this party on the road. I know I shouldn't be stacking people the way that I'm currently stacking them. But that's alright. Indomitable Phoenix is gonna be my backup. Let's hope they have a sinister device of doom here to loot. Oh man, that will be quite sinister, won't it? They have such a device laying around. Alright, and then we hide our cat crawls so they don't get ghosted. So, it turns out somebody did show up at our flank. Oh my, what a surprise. <laughs> I'm actually very surprised that uh, me holding this corner didn't actually uh, punish me for once. Uh, Natsume. Natsume is up here. Dick. Ooh, Dick. That could have indeed been very bad. We're talking about the same thing that is. Okay, so now we actually basically gotta make our way to the fortress of uh, trouble. 
So I think there's still one imp inside. I don't think that's the imp. I think that might actually be the guy that we were shooting over here. He went over there and he bled out. Um, but otherwise... This will be a wrap. Huh. Well, apparently he was above me. I completely missed it. Uh, so yeah, there you go. One of such taken. Don't particularly care much for it. We got experience. Most importantly of all, we survived and we cleared this place out. Because of broken UAC battery and broken BFG battery, we've got some UAC weapons documentation, which is always quite welcome, and a possessed Sarge. Bag it and bag it. The usual stuff. gonna yell at me, oh you don't have enough storage space. All the storage space. I, I think you mean to say uh, that feels badass, right? Right. Let's get rid of the demon corp, let's get rid of the imp corpses. I don't need them, they don't need them, nobody needs them. Buy some additional rockets and person of mass destruction, very well earned. Very well earned their uh, indomitable phoenix and a bomb brain cannoneer. Um, Black Widow, Public Enemy, and Multicolor. So good. So damn good. Mastery. Though I think kudos go out to Ushai Wormrider with her uh, fantastic blocking capabilities. Hello, what are you? ship from the guild on its way to do a pacification an envoy oh my fuck come on come on there they are all right uh it is time to load up the firefox let's go cat girls unite up 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 up, 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 up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We have a uh, space mission before us. Then we have an envoy, and I think I cannot shoot down the terror ship, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to ignore that. If it lands, we gotta clear it out. Not we can clear it out, no, we got to clear it out. Release. That's all the catacombs I have available. Sure as hell looks like it. I'm scared. So yeah, 15 cat girls, 16 spacesuits. Let's do it. Okay, and let's take a double peek at all our OG equipment that we have available, which is obviously some melee weapons, uh, battle axes, la 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 la, laser pistols. Now that's more like it. We will take six with me. Let's look shotgun, assault lasers, uh, regular less guns. I think we're pretty well stocked here. I think we're pretty well stocked. And this is a refueling platform, so yeah. So, yes, we have a terror ship and an envoy. The envoy needs to be cleared out. The envoy is from the Traders Guild. Both of them are Traders Guild, I do believe. Yes. That is the second envoy we're seeing at the moment, which is a bit scary. Alright. Space. I can't believe you played this without me. I won't even dare to do so, Gneffel. 
Matter of fact, I actually will dare to do so until we get the secret deal and then I can brag about it. <laughs> We're gonna be running around with a heavy laser. Um... Don't worry, you are missed. Somebody has to yell at me uh, about my gacha gambling that I could up uphold. Very important. Oh, Necros is way better with the shooting. Are we a gun collector yet? Alright, uh, you can leave now. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Any day now, right? Any day. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um, but there's, there's lots of things that we gotta cover. Lots of things we gotta cover. What am I missing for Gun Collector? That's what I should I'd be asking myself. We're not asking for much here. Um, um, yeah, just the Z-Rust. The easiest to obtain weapon. Worst case scenario, if I need a Z-Rust, I just need to get like 5,000 different boxes, uh, if I, uh, if memory serves me right. I think, uh, I think I might actually need to use infantry laser. Nope, nope, nope. I think we're done with infantry laser. So one thing that I noticed is, um, advanced medikits are missing. This is going to be a really nasty, really painful mission. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Alright, spotted yarn. You're the first to go, unfortunately. Okay, so the bright side is, it's most likely not cyborgs. I'm going to guess it's the Traders Guild, based on the movement that we just saw. We are in the top left corner of the map. Oh god, it's actually Necros Prime that's uh, charging out. Mm. Zombie Troopers. Okay, well, that is not something I'm looking forward to. Guess it's time to take off again. No. Or maybe yes. Oh no, um, now I'm starting to think that we shouldn't be fighting these guys. My god, I, um, I think I made a mistake, we shouldn't be here. We shouldn't be here. Like, this zombie trooper is not gonna die, that's the part that scares me. Um, no matter how often I shoot him, he is just gonna be A-OK. -okay. I think zombie troopers are resistant to laser, so... They're, uh, and plasma, matter of fact. So there is that. Help. Oh, we're gonna be losing so many cat rolls. Ah, oh, shit.
Can't you use ballistic in space? Yeah, golden guns and that's about it. Which, by the way, if we were using golden guns right now, my life would be a billion times better. Also, I am definitely uh, giving him the opportunity to uh, fuck, hit somebody even if he misses. Heavy laser is my best option here. Maybe I should have actually just tried to sneak closer instead of doing this thing where um, I try to spread out or uh, form an entire firing line that is going to blast my uh, blast my face off. Watch this. We were lucky it went right of our armor, I believe. Only Gauss? No? Really? Gauss? Okay, possibly. Also, he has a sniper, so yeah, he is a priority target to pop. But good luck with that, as if we're gonna be able to kill him. Seriously? Oh. Is he just, just too far away, I guess? Oh, come on, really? Two of them? So I should not be doing this type of uh, long range fighting at the moment. I think this is very detrimental. What I'm trying to do here. Oh my god, hmm. What about custom? What about X cows? That's, I think, the thing that I'm more curious about at the moment. Oh my god, it's three zombie troopers. I shouldn't be afraid of these guys, but um, I can barely kill one. Hmm. Heavy laser. That's all I can do right now. Heavy laser. Yes, golden weapons can uh, can be used, but I forgot to actually bring them like an idiot. Go throw my other ship. Well, apparently in uh, space you can burn. Come on, just die already. There we go, sniper eliminated. Right, cool. Any mini mini mo, one of the two probably would have to go. Unfortunately, I do not know which one. Okay, so yeah, we're just not close enough up there. Really? Well, we're gonna get blasted here. Absolutely gonna get blasted. Come on, Necros. That's a good hit. Come on, Istar. Yeah, figured. Okay, I think that was everybody. Almost everybody. Okay, I think that was everybody. I don't want to do snapshots, we'll uh, use reaction fire for that and hope for the best. How do explosions work in space? They don't. Unless it's star called technology, am I right? Right. Oh, fuck me. What, what type of weapon does he have? Oh, okay, just an assault laser, which we probably got to deal with here in a second. So. Let's first start with our lovely regular laser weapons. 
Okay, no, I'm absolutely, absolutely fed up being uh, this far away from them, but I guess it also kind of gives me the advantage of not having to deal with them. Oh, you're actually turned the other way as well. I'm absolutely losing control of the situation. Like, look at uh, look at us hitting and just not penetrating their armor, or just straight up uh, doing armor damage at best. Oh, no. This is gonna cost me cat rolls. Okay. But the other option is uh, moving closer and then just basically hope that they don't shoot me before I can shoot them. Which honestly, in my opinion, might actually be the better option at this point uh, with my last guns. Considering the fact that this does just not work. Um, I don't even know if Plasma is uh, that useful against these guys either. Like, I've only seen me uh, chip their armor. Yikes, better melee them. Yes, that's a ticket to instantly die. Okay, well, I mean, you know, once once the, 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 the heavy laser just doesn't hit, you know, you know, it's uh, you're done for. So, um, at this point, I'd wager there's maybe 80% chance that I'm gonna say fuck the shit, I'm out. What are the resistance of zombie troopers? The resistance to laser, that much I know. Come on. There we go. Another one bites the dust. Like, this is just the really frustrating part for me. Um, I can only take aim shots uh, with decent reliability. Oh my god, we hit him and he's on fire. We hit him and he's on fire. Um... Eh, not on fire. He's also on fire. Okay, okay, we're, we're going places right now. We're going places right now. Come on, pal. Come on, just die. Just die. I know you want to. Just die already. Okay, no, no, we're not going, we're not going places, I lied. Oh no, there we go. So there is a zombie trooper in the back that's on fire, and there is the zombie trooper up front who I probably should have dealt with because he has a way more dangerous weapon, which is a uh, auto laser. Um, saturating volley fire is my biggest fear. 60% are not that shabby, to be uh, perfectly honest with you. Is that it? I think that might be it. Yeah, that's it. I'm trying so damn hard. I'm trying so damn hard to snipe him. Um, oh, crap. <laughs> he fell. Okay, they're actually gonna go down. That's funny. All right, so we're still uh, we're still standing. That's good. Having the range advantage is not a bad situation, considering the fact. Yeah, that's 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 a that's a big one. Yeah, he needs to go. He's my priority target. Maybe I should just try to take like 60% shots and hope for the best, but I see my ammo slowly, slowly running out and there's so much we still gotta kill. 
Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, we should definitely stick to aim shots because... Okay, it doesn't even matter. It's gonna miss regardless. It's absolutely gonna miss regardless. That is, that is just cruel. That's just awful and cruel. Explosives. Do I even have explosives? Okay. Alright, game. Alright. Enough of this bullshit. Let's get this over with. I don't want to be here all night trying to snipe a bunch of zombies that don't want to be hit anyways. There we go. Thank you. Actually, no. Absolutely, I'm hating this mission right now. I thought, I thought we were prepared. But I wasn't prepared for this. Absolutely was not prepared for this. I have I've given up on uh, aimed shots. I have officially given up on aimed shots. Let's move some people closer so that maybe we can actually do something here that will be nice. hope that this guy is willing to die. That's kind of what I've been going for the entire time. As you can see, these guys must be quite resistant. They're tanking so many of these shots to their faces. It's uh, pretty embarrassing. Is that everybody? Really? Wow, okay. Uh, the situation is pretty dire if you ask me. So somebody's gonna get popped here. I tried my best. I tried my best to kill him, but... You know, once you start like shooting all your 120% into the ground, you know that somebody is slated to die. Hey, he's walking away. Cool. So yeah, we're gonna move people closer and we're gonna try to play with snapshots. Now that the platform is somewhat secure, I dare to get closer. Cool, let's do this. Okay, so I think from this point forward, our life should get a lot better. Um, hopefully. But that's kind of what would have been perfect um, on turn 1. Trying to get close to the station so you can kind of pop up and do... Uh, even auto fire would have helped quite a bit. And just do hit and runs. And assuming that they don't have enough time used to do reaction fire. And if they do reaction fire, um, just hope they miss. Like, it's all fun in games until uh, you start to notice that you're basically blasting through all your ammo trying to land a near impossible shot. When I say near impossible, I'm talking about 90 and 100%. Let's move her just a bit closer and leave it at that. But yeah, um... <laughs> After this mission, I need uh, I need therapy. Holy crap. Alright, we'll keep three people. Hey, we can actually see him? Seriously. Hmm. Well, it was a good try. Ooh, I think one of my cat girls is on fire. I think we're about to lose a cat girl. So we're gonna have to move a bit faster. No? No, no, okay. Hmm. Probably just all the uh pow 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 that was happening.
Oh, haha, I have to reload. Isn't that embarrassing? Also, um, it's worth pointing out at this point, I am actually using advanced clips. Advanced, um, god, I actually went way too low. I'm actually using advanced clips. Advanced laser clips. So we're just rolling really poorly on the damage, I suppose. Or uh, their resistances are really good, one of those two. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get stuff going. <laughs> yes, exactly. Who will be that cruel? So this time we are actually going to be playing it a bit more risky. Just a bit. But there's a good chance that a lot of these people would need to have their uh, ammunition renewed as well. Let's uh, run through people and see who doesn't have ammo in their gun because I'd like to have that fixed ASAP. Well, this is one. This is another one. There you go. Um. Oh, fuck me. Hi. So that's where all my uh, fire was coming from. I was wondering who was doing all the shooting earlier. Uh, turns out we were. I thought we were getting fired at by an auto laser. That's why I started to panic that some of our people were on fire. It's actually my backline that I have forgotten. That's great. It means we have uh, three more cats that we can throw at the enemy. So let's see how badly this is going to end because this is going to be a nasty turn. Let's do this. The one thing I do need to be particularly careful about is that I don't leave myself overexposed. Um, Shot, nice shot, nice shot. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. If I leave myself overexposed near uh, the entrance, they're just gonna show up and they're just gonna blast my brains out. Uh, claw my brains out, I'm sorry. Okay, fuck this game. Fuck everything about this game. I'm, I'm absolutely done. I'm absolutely done. The fuck was that? The fuck was that? Alright boss, I devised a brilliant plan. It is flawless. We're gonna shoot out the bottom from the zombie so he falls off the space station, causing him to fall to his death. Right. Yeah. Okay. God damn it. Oh, come on. Okay. Alright. 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 You know what? Fuck you two, game. Fuck you two. 
Oh, oh, but Mr. Dipshit can instantly hit me? <laughs> sure. You know what? Sure. Um. Nope. I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna play this shitty game with him. Just no. Thank you. Notice, by the way, how uh, despite all my efforts, he only took like freaking one or two damage. Uh, feels like it at least. Okay, so um, despite my best efforts, it seems like the game has it out for me. So let's, uh, despite my best efforts, let me guess. They have a stabbing resistance of like what? 10%? I'm telling you, they're, they're gonna have stabbing resistance of like 10%. So absolutely annoyed about this. Okay, so we're gonna lose Lazy Prussia. I guess she was a bit too lazy. I'm so grumpy right now. Um, if there's one thing I really despise, um, it's all my shots missing and then some dipshit uh, hitting me. At the first attempt. Like, look at that. Look at that. Like... If the world consisted out of RNG, um, I think uh, at this point there will never be any bad luck left in the world anymore. That's how often we've been missing uh, our shots. Ah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I mean, obviously we will not be fine. Have you tried aiming below them? I've even tried not aiming to see if that's the problem, but... At this point I just kinda wish I could... Uh... Saves come my way to victory, right? Okay, let's uh, finish this party up. Watch this. Yep. 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 Told you she die. And look at that, somebody got hurt. This is like mind boggling. How how can they hurt me? You need at least a thousand percent to be able to hit me, right? Because I need a thousand percent to hit them. Same angle. God damn it. By the way, um let's clear this mission out. I've had enough of these people. I've actually practically have had enough. A tiny shitty laser pistol nonetheless. Poor lazy Prussia. She deserved better. I think we all deserved better. Absolutely awful. Absolutely, absolutely awful. <laughs> I'm so, so annoyed. <laughs> yeah, I think so as well. Thank you for dying. I can't believe I actually have to thank them for dying. The only option that remains uh, plausible. Doesn't work in space. I'm not even surprised. I'm not even surprised. Um, but yeah, I uh, I, I want to finish this mission and that's what we're going to be doing. So, um, fellows, fellow friends and... Uh, enjoyers, blades out. These zombies are gonna go down. Lazy Prussia will be avenged. This mission has been particularly awful. Um, we, I feel like we were adequately prepared. We have all the adequate stuff that we would have needed to do this mission. Just the hit chances have been just such a problem, such an absolute issue.
just absolutely such an issue. Um, that the entire mission just became a nightmare. Better melee probably would have done the trick here. Better melee probably would have done the trick, yeah. Okay, uh, let's finish this. Oh fuck, I overdid it. Uh, thankfully, I uh, brought 5,000 knives with me. Fine. Nasty mission, very nasty mission. I think the combination of armor and high HP did the trick here when dealing with them. Uh, their laser resistance is really what got me. Um, it basically forces me to either get closed and pump them uh, full with lots of damage quite quickly or it requires me to basically engage them in melee range which well considering them being zombies isn't electric good against them i thought electric was bad against zombie troopers i won't even know that because we don't have zombie troopers yeah i don't have zombie troopers crap I'm actually gonna look this up. Let's see. Give me a Z, give me an O, give me a B. Zombie... Oh, of course there's 5,000 different zombie uh, things in the game. Zombie troopers... Uh, ba -ba -ba. Electric 140. Yeah, electric would have been good. Oh damn. By the way, laser 70. I knew it. But yeah, could have probably uh, probably would have been better off just using laser and the uh, not laser, sorry, electric in that case because we do have stun batons. We do have stun batons. All right, so who else is gonna die in this particular case? Lower percentage is high resistance. Lower percentage means uh, higher resistance. You could have read it as that's how much um, the damage gets multiplied by. So 70% means that it only applies 70% of the damage. 170 means 170% of the damage. Right? Oh yeah, sorry. I'm misreading that absolutely. Um... Yeah, just read it as a multiplier. Oh, fuck. Oh no, Necros. Oh no. Oh no. So yeah, um, Stephanie is not going to be long for this world anymore. Let's finish this dipshit. Oh, that was easy. And I'm still using cutting. Um...
I'm st strong against stabbing. Oh, that's even worse. I'm using stabbing, actually. Which is making my life an absolute nightmare. It makes sense that they're resistant to stabbing. It's just... Oof. Oh yeah, right. They could have just uh, attacked me from behind, right? Wow. All right. I'm sorry, Oaken. There's a reason why I said I'm sorry, Oaken. I knew exactly that that was gonna happen. Still scared the living crap out of me, though. Alright, so we only lost one hand. It's a miracle. It's an absolute miracle we only lost one person. That was way more bumpy than I'd like to admit. We got three zombie troopers and, three zombie and some zombie corpses. Which means we can finally continue our uh, zombie saga. Wow! Ho ho ho! That was nasty. That was so nasty. So what did we learn here? Um, fuck. Percentages. That's all I learned. No, um, I probably would have been better off, um, better off closing the distance and just relying on melee. But it's so weird because I, I find it very difficult to say like, hey, let's get close and rely on melee against zombies because I know one of the things that they can do is they can just basically, once they're in their zombie trooper clawing form, just basically claw you apart. And that besides the zombies. Ask Lazy Prussia, she knows what I'm talking about. Hmm. Hmm. Gotta keep them alive. No, we don't need to keep them alive, really, but I'll try. So yeah, um, last gun clips. Good luck with that, because I cannot make them, I cannot buy them. So yeah, there you go, Lady Luck, Public Enemy, High yeah, School Killer, yada yada yada. But we did lose Lady Prisha, who was a space hero, unfortunately, which means we um, probably will pick up uh, maybe three more outlaw cat girls, because I do want to keep my cat girls up and running as much as I can. So, uh, Terror Ship Envoy, let's talk about that, those can of beans that I do not want to talk about. Ah. It is time. From one problem into the next. Marshak Bodyguards. Quicksilver Cutlass when? Thank you for reminding me, Gneffel. Never. But also, thank you for reminding me. Uh, we should probably get on that ASAP. I'm gonna kick out a few additional cat girls. Take you guys with me. Uh, by the way, by the way, Glem, Glem, Glem. Where's Glem? Where's Glem? There she is. Glem has zero freshness, so we're gonna replace her with a caddy warrior. These three caddy warriors are gonna get fly suits. Fly, my little cats. Fly. Oh. Yeah, Necro Swords, basically the way that I understand, or the way that I would assume Necro Swords work, is you can only get them if you're doing a Cat Girl tourist mission and they happen to carry one, which is like RNG on top of RNG. So that's just not a valuable upgrade. It's just not a valuable upgrade. Or events. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Absolute assholes. What 
okay. Yeah, we don't really see many smuggler ships. Let's talk a little bit about um, more possibilities here. I'm thinking using the Firefox. Now, the problem with the Firefox in this particular case is using it is great and all. Wait, we did have advanced? Wait, you... Isn't so cheap compatible? You cannot use advanced medikits in space? Oh, I thought you could. I, I, I'm practically convinced you could. Huh, well, um, the more you know, apparently. Yeah, I should have brought a peasant in an escape pod. Hmm. But yeah, let's talk about the shit show um, that this mission is gonna be. It will be a shit show. But it's a shit show that I actually need to do. This sounds so weird to say it's a shit show I gotta do. Um, we have opportunities and possibilities, so let's make good use of them. Let's talk about possibilities and opportunities. I am not kidding. Yeah, it's not great actually. I need high damaging weapons. So yeah, um, possibilities and opportunities. We need to clear out the the. the and we're gonna have to clear out the ship, uh, terror ship, which is <laughs> already something I'm afraid of doing with my A team. Now we're gonna have to do it with the B team. So I think we're gonna move in, we're gonna pick a few of them off, kick their asses, or not kick their asses, uh, see how many asses we can kick, and then we skedaddle. That will be my best option here. So, whoa, the rescue pilot now has a weapon. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I wasn't aware of that. That's really cool. Doesn't mean that I'm going to be using <laughs> the pot anytime soon, but that's really cool. But yeah, so, um, let's... See who actually wants to join us here. Glam Railgun. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I would only use it for the medikits. If we have one more day, we could have taken maybe Lickety Split uh, Kafra with us, but no bueno there. We have some ogres. We have some Lugnars. We have some damsels. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be taking a car with us. I was sincere, uh, sincerely considering it, or seriously considering it, but I decided against it in the very end. Um, because I'm pretty sure a car just instantly will get obliterated. Uh, we brought weaponized, militarized Gothic ray guns, which is a better version of the regular ray guns. Uh, but plasma didn't seem to do much against the zombies, unfortunately. I shot them frequently with the militarized ray guns, and it just, at best, did armor damage. I think a few few hits, but nothing uh, nothing serious. Didn't even set them on fire. <laughs> so yeah, um, we're about to embark on a journey of madness. <laughs> Oh my god, I fucked up. And it actually is working in my favor. 
Um, boom, 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 boom. Right. It is car time. Get rid of the AGL. Give me the uh, auto cannon. Now, before I forget, and this is quite important. Um, well, actually, there's two things I gotta do. And I have another caddy warrior that could actually uh, go out into uh, into outer space. Uh, maybe. I feel like there was another flycat uh, whose equipment I updated and I forgot they even existed. Big guy Topa won't join us. By the way, 25mm uh, auto cannon rounds, we're gonna be needing those. Let's uh, grab three of them because I'm a greedy bastard and that should be our entire crew. This crew does not bug me with a lot of confidence, but... <laughs> um, yeah, but... Yo, we do have legions uh, on standby. Fantastic. Yeah, exactly. I hope the car gives us additional confidence as it's gonna get instantly sniped by the first thing that shows up. So this is it? This is it? Fuck off. Fuck off. I, I, I have no need for you right now, Excavator. Hello. A blood ritual. Ah shit, I forgot all about the blood ritual. Let's send in the convoy. <laughs> Don't have a convoy anymore. And we made it, fantastic. Okay, so first of all the envoy. The envoy should be a doable one. Um, we're gonna start off with... Trader Guild. I would like to take an Omega Rifle, but we're gonna, we're gonna make a slight modification here, right? Which involves poison daggers. Definitely modify my Kedrai to uh, be better. Copy, paste, 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 and that's good. That's good. This is not gonna happen. This is gonna be RPGs. So I have a natural aversion to using explosions because, well, um, I do not trust my people, I do not even trust myself. But currently we do need bang. We need lots of bang, bang, bang. Because without the bang, there won't be any uh, oomph, right? Let's do it. Bang. Now, who's the most proficient with the Necromimi Blade? As always, it is Necros. Good job, Necros. Let's make a few rearrangements here. Somebody is probably gonna have to walk around with a boom gun, it will make me very happy. Um, lurking Puma. How many more poison knives do I have? Three. Okay, I can work with that. I just realized 79 melee means she should not be meleeing. Let's give her. Um, I want to say let's give her a uh, an RPG. Oh boy. I have a really bad feeling about this. Yeah, so let's be mindful about who actually uh, is going to be using RPGs and the likes. Uh, sorry, who's going to be knifing? Who isn't going to be knifing? So envoy ship shouldn't be too difficult. Two bodyguards preferably. Uh, probably, I should say. Let's clear it out. Really? Creamy Prisha, by the way, has uh, some uh, freshness issues. Down, plenty more to go. Let's 
Okay. Remember. Um, they'll have more Shack Bodyguards. Ever since we got the Hyperwave Decoder, my life's been a lot easier because I know what type of enemies we're going to be fighting, so I don't need to worry about like chrysalids and the likes maybe being inside this craft. I need to make all sort of weird preparations uh, so I don't get chrysalided. Chrysalided. Huh. But yeah. Let's do this. Check you say. I'll be safe. Fucked. <laughs> Isn't that just a cinnamon? Uh, at this point. Come on, Kelly girls. Change my mind, by the way. Let's drop the pistol. Pull out a frag grenade. Do I even have frag grenades? I don't have any frag grenades left whatsoever. What's up with that? People probably are carrying them. Um, incendiary, I guess. Sorry, a Willy Pete. Prime it. Throw it. Mister can pick it up for now. And then pick up your uh, pistol again. Beautiful throw there, Star. I can't believe you did it. Successfully threw a grenade without butchering it up. And this is basically why I took a peek over here. Um, I'm very tempted to put Lickety Split Chocola right over here, so she can potentially see people pop out and she can kind of scout ahead next turn, but uh, safety first. Let's hope that this is actually safe enough. So if I had ignored him, he could have walked up here and he could have shot us with uh, heavy weapons. I'm not ready for that uh, type of nonsense just yet. Mm, Mortar would have been nice as well now that I think about it, but me. So yeah. See what the next step is gonna be. More flight cats would have been nice as well. He died. Okay, um somebody does not like me. And if I had to guess, it's probably the Marshak bodyguard. No, no, it might be the Marshak operative over here. Okay, so who the... Pe oh, okay, people all the way in the back, uh-huh. I could attempt to kill him, but with those people lurking uh, on the outside, I find it too dangerous. I was kind of hoping um, using a um, 
like at armor we would have enough to take a shot and then just basically uh, skedaddle but that doesn't seem to be the case so since they're kind of after like the split over here i just gonna make it impossible for them to throw a grenade at me that will teach them let's hope that actually will teach them uh, anything else that I could do at this point? Probably. Let's see. This might actually backfire, I'm very much aware. Okay, let's see what uh, this turn is gonna give me. Yep, let's see what this turn is gonna give me. I definitely wasn't aware though that Marshak uh, operatives are spotters. Scares me. He's close by. Absolutely close by. So are they. Yeah, I think this didn't work out the way I wanted it to work out. I'm probably gonna get rid of it. Alright, that is very, very nice. That is even better because we're definitely gonna get naded here. Um, on that notion, probably gotta set these bastards on fire if I can. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. Oh, I should have probably actually peeked if there was somebody hiding over here. We'll leave him alive for a turn. I don't think he's able to reach me that easily, so... I almost forgot we had uh, area clutch flying around. That would have been awkward. I think they can still uh, throw grenades and shoot me if they want, which also scares me. But hopefully by flying, um, it desensitizes or de. What am I trying to say here? Not desensitize. Uh... The opposite of insensitive. Oh, well, you know, fuck it. it. Just they won't throw grenades at me. That's that's the general gist here. They'll be nice. Won't do mean stuff. I'm thinking about killing the guild engineer straight up. I'd love to cap him, but this is not the mission and this is not the time. Or maybe just hurt him uh, enough for him to bleed out, and then we'll see from that point forward. I'm trying to figure out what are my next logical steps to take. I have no freaking clue. Alright. He didn't bleed out. Check. Hmm. He's crawling closer. Interesting. And it seems like the guild engineer kind of buggered out, so that's also interesting. Absolutely hate uh, hills. Uh, so, 
Fun fact, if I'm not making any progress cutting through his armor, um, oh, sorry, uh, shooting him, I might just simply, uh, RPG the living crap out of him. And by the looks of it right now, it's definitely gonna be the stick, not the carrot. Oh, there we go. Another one bites the dust. Fantastic. A friendly reminder, they'll probably try to nade my ass if I'm not careful, so um, let's give them very hard angles to throw from. Keep some people hidden in the back. I'll probably move some more people around, kind of, you know, get the ball rolling and everything. So we know of at least two enemies. Uh, one more Marshak bodyguard is uh, definitely... Somebody we're gonna have to kill. Once we can secure the front entrance of the craft, that'd be fantastic because then we can fight inside the craft and I'll feel a lot safer there. AKA no stray grenades heading for my uh, face. Hmm. Engineers bleeding out. I was looking for him. So he probably remains my biggest uh, issue at the moment. I can try to blitz him like this. Try to blitz him like that as well. But the question is who's down here? Who's up front? As long as I don't know that... Um, Will remain a risky endeavor. Okay. How about an RPG you? <laughs> Heavy plasma neutralized. Okay, uh, that actually makes me feel incredibly comfortable uh, knowing that we are in a safe spot. Which also makes me feel very uncomfortable because we're never in a safe spot. But yeah, it looks like uh, we've just dealt with all the people that I knew were outside. So let's uh, start focusing on the inside part. Which probably also means no RPGs, but we'll see about that. Here in a bit. It's all about playing it safe. That's what we're doing here. We're just slowly trying to play it safe. Uh, lots of cat crawls that I gotta move around and lots of other people I gotta move around. Let's uh, make sure that we don't forget about anybody. Let's make sure nobody remains exposed and definitely that we do not get naded. And nade will be quite unfortunate. So anybody flying about, um, I do have Liquid Angler, I am going to put her in a bit of a more risky uh, position, but we should be fine, let's see. And hey, um, who knows, maybe if we're lucky enough we can even uh, save this guy. Notice how he had um, two Hilarium grenades on him, yeah. I can't believe I'm saving him. So the part about saving you, my friend, is that you actually stay down, not that you get back up. Atta boy. So he should probably be fine for another turn or so. Let's get some more people, uh, let's get some more people going. This is gonna be weird and awkward. I don't predict. Oh, actually, Necros is a way better option here. Yeah, RPGs are not the best solution here, but um, we'll see. Also, 
probably should have brought a hammer to uh, try and see if we can actually penetrate this uh, craft. Even penetrating the elevator is a great way of separating the top from the bottom. Eh, uh, it is what it is. Please be safe. Please be safe. Okay. Without much further ado, I think uh, that does mean we're ready. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give um, Clutch over here a probably a boom gun if if we can. No, we can't carry it. Well, maybe. Yeah, I'll give her a boom gun. There you go. One more enough words. Ah, that's fantastic. Nobody showed up. It's very possible there's going to be like 500 people inside this craft. But based on how little people there were outside, I'd argue we're fine. So the dance continues. Okay. Um, yeah, I think at this point we are practically in uh, we're gonna be just fine territory. Let's uh, breach, clear it out, and then go home. We got ourselves an engineer, which is quite fantastic. Um, I think we got quite lucky with that, so hey, I'm not complaining. And we also prevented an envoy from carrying out its mission, and that is of course the biggest win of them all. And then we can start worrying about the worst mission of them all, the terror ship. Didn't I just kill you? Thank you. actually worked. That actually worked. Even was very cautious. Like even if I could have meleeed him, he could have just shot my cat crow and then uh Yeah. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine. I think I did the right thing there for once. Absolutely the right thing. Somebody's gonna have to probably spawn camp his body. Or maybe a few people are gonna have to spawn camp his body. I think I'll leave that to my um, RPGers. And everybody else is gonna go for a old breach, breach, breach. Good old breach, breach, breach. That's right. This is exciting for me. It might not seem like it, but this is actually quite exciting. Right, lick the split can punch him. I mean, we're now at the point where I probably can actually take prisoners, so. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. That was risky, but uh, we are on a roll and I do not want to stop. Necros, it's up to you actually. Not how I would have wanted to play it, but Necros does not disappoint. My god, he does not. Look at that. He does not. And that leaves us probably with uh, one more killed engineer, I hope. Let's. Shit. Let's wrap this up. Alright, Flocked Panther, you've done a fantastic job. I'm gonna need you one more time. Let's go. Okay, guys, that's it. Mission completed. I think this went incredibly well, um, all things considered. 
We still have a few obstacles to overcome, but generally speaking, I think this is the end. We're done. Neat. Lots of envoys are showing up today. I think they're really trying to push out, um, or this month, they're really trying to push out wherever the hell they are I'm landing it at. Hmm. Actually, don't know. Uh, they keep landing in Madagascar, but they must not really like uh, the people here. Also, let's actually uh, hop, hop, hop. Make sure that she doesn't uh, pop. Be stimulated. Fantastic. She was stimulated into submission. Okay. I just want to make sure I have enough people for a blitz. Ooh, he's coming. He's coming for me. So when you heal an enemy with like four wounds, why not heal it once or twice to simply counteract the health loss from the wounds they'll suffer next turn? Um, that's a very good like question there. In some place, I think counter healing works great. Uh, the big fear that I have, and that's why I quite often heal all the wounds, is overstun. So if you do enough damage to them, they're both going to be in shock. Which means that they take stun damage and they can become overstunned, which will inflict additional damage. So there is not always a guarantee that you are counteracting the amount that they're bleeding. So you heal them for two, they're gonna bleed for two. It's possible they're gonna bleed for two and take five damage, and maybe they have like four HP, so they die. I'd rather just deal with them getting up and having me punch them and potentially kill them than having them die from overstun. But that's a personal thing. And with the Cardinal, yeah, um, I actually, like, when the Cardinal kept getting back up, that's exactly what I was considering, but the reason why I didn't do it in the end is because I was afraid he might die from Overstun. I was so terrified he was going to die from Overstun. Hi. If it makes sense, by the way, what I'm saying. You do heal some damage from the medkits, yes. <laughs> I was more terrified of the Cardinal. Greed, greed can be uh, quite a bit of a uh, drug. But there you go, we cleared it out. Zero deaths. Zero freaking deaths. We had one grenade, that's all we had to worry about. We got bravery, we got stats, we got everything. We got even heavy plasma. But most important of all, three freaking guild engineers. April 1 joke update, mouth to mouth ability for overstunned enemies. Um, I can do you one better. I can do you one better, Strider. What is it called? Is it called the Pleasure Rod? I think it's called the Pleasure Rod, isn't it? There will be others and you don't need many. Yeah, so I really like to get the first possible cap I can get so that I don't need to worry about in the future anymore. Rather than Trying to go for an opportune moment and then really needing them at that particular point. Or at some particular point in the future, but that's just me being paranoid. <laughs> yes, Gals. I, I do agree, it really, really does suck. Um, I'm really disappointed in myself that not only did we lose uh, a cat girl, we also lost Silky Finn. Like, I just really fucked it up and I should have just killed him. Either I should have killed him, or I should have been more ca careful and just tried to prevent him from getting up. But, that's me. That's me. I made a really stupid mistake. In those cases, you are better off uh, being very cautious. Unless you know that you can handle him if he gets back up, and that wasn't the case for us. I have some things to ship. I really fucked it up. <laughs> It's a lot easier to uh, talk and laugh about it after the fact, but at the time I was really salty um, for a variety of reasons. I thought he counted as somebody who surrendered after he went down, but that was incorrect. How many guild engineers can we ship over? Two. Fantastic. Eh, live and let live, right? Live and let live. But I don't think I get so annoyed and upset anymore as I did uh, the first time we played X-Pirates. Like, losing girls back then just really like, oh, Made me want to grab the game and just uh, push it through my uh, screen.
Excavator, right, that's the excavator that we were talking about. So, real quick, ba -ba 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 we have a slavery guild trap. I'm off for today. Alright, thank you for stopping by, Dr. Strider. You have a good day, and uh, hope to see you next time. Take care. Have a good one. That's good enough, right? One day in 16 hours. Okay, so, uh, this one is way more nasty. It's inside the desert. Kalahari. It's inside the desert, and it's a terror ship during daytime. In a special environment nonetheless, so um Yeah. I think we're gonna go with your mega rifle. How are we going to be playing this? We know we'll be dealing with Marshak, right? We know we'll be dealing with Marshak. Which means that probably... I think your mental fortitude is commendable when handling XCOM bullshit. Um, it's not fortitude, I've just been mentally broken. There's nothing left to uh, <laughs> break. Uh, Miniguns might be interesting. Heavy laser. Absolutely should be going for heavy laser. Like, I think it's it just... You gotta be worn down before you can <laughs> deal with it. Or sniper rifle might be interesting as well, but I think what we might want to go for is the... Um, why do we have tank busters? Yeah, Omega rifle. We'll go with the Omega rifle again. I like the I, I like the ammo piercing. I really really enjoy the ammo piercing on these guns. But this is not ammo piercing. This is HE. Mm. Hmm. All right, the ogre is going to be your sacrificial lamp. Unfortunately, um, he's going to get naded up the wazoo. That's the issue here. Prowling, prowling, prowling. Let me just clarify worst case scenario. If we're gonna be in a situation where I just can't deal with the enemy, um, we're gonna bug her out. This is an optional fight. This is not one that I should commit to. I will commit to it and we will die. That's besides the point. Uh, but I shouldn't be committing to it, is the point that I'm trying to make. <laughs> yeah. Just so, uh, just so we're in the clear here. Um, what I'm about to do is really dumb and stupid. But hey, who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky. So I think the big issue that I'm currently experiencing is that besides, you know, the the obvious uh, candidates here, we're also going to have to deal with. Right, let's also take those things. We're also gonna have to deal most likely with tanks. That is what my cut is telling me. We're gonna be dealing with tanks. And I'm scared. I'm scared of the idea of having to deal with tanks. I mean, sure, we have a car, but... I think they might actually be able to hurt me and pop me. Also, notice that we are not uh, using any Neko Samurais, which is beneficial in this particular case. If we had Neko Samurais, I would have to worry about them being over, uh, getting overstunned. We don't have to worry about it right now. It's a funky desert, so we'll have to see how this goes. There's nothing.
you know, this look doesn't look as half terrifying as uh, <laughs> this doesn't look half as terrifying as the envoy. It sounds so weird to say. So what's the plan? RPG this. We RPG this. Which means Zork the Bushy might actually uh, really, really be hurt here. I'm aware of Glam's uh, freshness issue. Let's do it. Uh, RPG this section, sacrifice the guild engineer. Yeah, they, it's, they don't even have plasma. I was expecting them to have plasma. Okay, to be fair, I did deserve that. I absolutely did deserve that, yeah. Um... I do not deserve that, I do not deserve that, I do not deserve that. Run, 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 run! Get out! Get out, get out, get out before they, uh, before they get you. Alright, okay. Um, hmm, that's a very nice welcome. What is the rule of turn one? This is turn two. Haha! Right? Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 this is, this is turn two. I know, I'm here to break up the party. Now I'm actually starting to wonder if this is turn one or not. Oh, come on, all I just wanted was for you to hit them right where it hurts. Right into the group of enemies, couldn't even do that. Okay, so I see the problem that I'm currently having. I'm not very happy about that. This does leave Prowling Head in a very vulnerable spot. He's bleeding, he's not bleeding, he's fine, killed. Sailor will probably be fine. And can we still make it back up? Yes, we can. Barely, but we can. And now I'm starting to doubt whether or not this is turn one. It must be. It must be turn two. Otherwise they would have instantly reactioned me when I stepped down. Uh, Mr. Snobby. It would be nice if Mr. Snobby can die. Ah, we won't make that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was turn two. Cool. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I would like to cap the uh, guild engineer at least, which is gonna be a bit tough, but not impossible. How am I gonna cap him? How am I gonna cap him? Holy crap, I don't think anybody really can cap. Ah shit. Well, I guess we're gonna kill him in that case. I mean, Zork the Bushy, I guess, will be my best option, but... How close are we to knockout grenades? Um, 
the big obstacle of pharmacology uh, we've managed to get. All that remains now is for me to get the other items, including stun grenades, which we're going to be researching. We need, I think, a refinery. And then there was something else. We're getting there, is basically what I'm trying to say. Slowly and steadily we're getting there. How about we play a game of... Uh, uh, balls to the walls, let's go. Done. They probably still sport the uh, Hilarium Grenades as a side note, so that's something uh, to keep in mind. Just one. Just one hit. That's all I'm asking for, just one hit. I'm so annoyed that we couldn't land one simple hit. I'm glad that he decided to waste his reaction fire on me. Did you try to... No, I didn't. I didn't, camera. I've been busy. I, uh... Been busy. I haven't forgotten, but I've been busy. Come on, guys, please. All I just need is one single hit, one single bullet, a golden bullet, the bullet that that makes all other um, <coughs> thank you options and efforts uh, worthwhile, right? Okay, so that did do damage. I'm quite happy with that. So why did I particularly... Oh yeah, right, because I said balls to the walls. Train the cats with bribery. Um... No. He died! Excellent! He didn't die. That's not excellent. Anybody with time units left? Because I think we've been basically blasting through a good chunk of our people here. Um, Junkie Julia, I guess, is uh, one of the people who's left. Oh, I have to have her act uh, next turn, but that is how they get trained. Don't worry. Uh, we taught our cats how to get their nails clipped. We're not... Uh, Strangers do it. Don't need me. Huh. 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 Next logical stop, stop obviously, will be to assess the front of the ship, this area, and then clear out the insides. But we're making progress. We're making actual freaking progress. For now, for now, for now. As long as we don't get naded. <laughs> We have some panic. 
Hey, I'm feeling incredibly optimistic at the moment. Maybe this mission isn't as... Uh, we're so doomed after all. Of course, there might still be an old case of a uh, bodyguard laying about. But with heavy laser at or just... What is happening? There's an effect on this map. What is... Whoa, 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 hold up. I know there's an effect. I have not been able to figure out which one. I thought it was freshness related, but now I'm noticing a lots of units don't have full time... Uh, lots of units don't have full time units. Yes, I now realize how that sounds. Pretty damn stupid. Why? Why is that the case? Ah, shit, I keep forgetting to read the message. Alright, first of all, I want my Cat of Warriors on standby. Rather a fatigue. No, 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 this is not freshness related. Their freshness is high enough not to suffer from that effect. Like, Junkie Julia only gets this much, uh, or... She loses 30 time units? Even though her freshness is above the halfway point. 15? That freshness, what's the way? The way is perfectly fine, it's the environment, uh, environmental effect on this map. Just keep clicking it away before I can read it now. Glam Railgun is pretty boned. Uh, that is no mystery. Don't click. Dust storm! It gets everywhere, so apparently a dust storm is costing us time units. Well, 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 what do we have here? Ow? That's not cool, man. Uh, let's check out the hit lock. So, we hit, and then it's just three misses. And apparently there's somebody over there as well. Well, let's hope that the dust storm actually also gives me some benefits, because otherwise it will be, uh... Oh yeah, right, catty girls. Yeah, I don't think my cat girls can help with this at the moment. Maybe I should have grabbed a poison dagger or two, but a bit too late now. So yeah, it's the dust storm effect apparently. That's curious. And freshness damage as well. Oof. But yeah. So he's gonna become a problem. I think he's gonna become a problem. Let's just hope that uh, the same effect is really hurting them too. Hmm. There he is. My man. Seriously? Uh, absolutely hate angles. Uh, absolutely hate angles. Yeah, you know what, let's not do that. Was a killed sailor. That was not the guy that shot us from above. He was using a laser weapon. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Bit bit of a shame that Glam uh, literally has no time units to use. Next up, I would like to pick up the poison daggers that we do not have. It's gonna be battle axes. And then we hope for the best here.
I had to guess he walked away. No, he didn't. Okay, um, I might have really fucked that up. That's nice. Ah, oh, there we go. That's better. This ship type usually has vehicles in it, doesn't it? No, you're right. You're very right. I think, um... I would say their tech level is not uh, high enough yet. But I remember them distinctly, distinctly having vehicles. Thanks in the likes. Alright, final turn. Let's Well, final turn. Air quote, air quote, final turn. Let's go and fight and clear them out. Yes, he has lasers. He has absolutely lasers. He absolutely has a heavy laser. Um, Academy has cyber discs, correct? But I, I thought at least um, Marshak would have tanks with shields. The Traitor's Guild. Might, uh, might be wrong about it though. Definitely, I'm probably wrong about it. So if that bodyguard was the one that was shooting me earlier, uh, yeah, we actually probably got quite lucky and managed to dodge a uh, what would have been most likely a kill. Laser resistance. Probably can take out my car in one full swoop if we want to. Okay, so there's two Marsek uh, security guards. We're gonna have to take the dive, aren't we? We're gonna have to take the dive, yeah. He's still there. Okay, um, we'll deal with this next turn. I'll probably try to deal with him using the car. What the hell? And that's not very great, but I'll try to silently ignore who's seeing him. Ah, the cat girls. I see. I believe we probably had cat girls because I keep being, uh, keep looking at the bottom floor. Damn it. Oh, fuck. I was really hoping that an RPG would have just finished him off and he just looked at me and he just killed me instead. Probably should have just sacrificed the peasant to clear him out before uh, sending his orc to Bushi. Really? You, you had a backup shot even? Wow, okay. And that absolutely, totally, and utterly sucks. Oh, fuck me! Cat girls, right! Um, I absolutely forgot about my cat girls again. This is not going great. This is absolutely not going great. I'm gonna lose my cat girl, aren't I? Definitely. Are you not dying? Absolutely forgot about my cat girl there. Um, yeah, shit. 
I'm gonna have to take a shot at him and just kill him. Oh great! What Shit only I'm is getting a lot worse. Um, just got chem attacked. So, uh, the dust storm is a bit of a bitch. I'll admit, it's a bit of a bitch. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to deal with him. I mean, there would have been a way, which would have been a cat girl, but guess where my cat girls are? Not here. I probably blew up all my equipment already, so that's also quite unfortunate. Uh, let's at least just take the mega rifle. Die. Jesus. Speak about Ranger Danger. Um, all I can hope for is that that guy is willing to panic and I know that he won't. I absolutely know that he won't. Um, I think uh, I think that's the end of Junkie Julia as well. There's very little I can do about that at this uh, particular juncture. Oh, this shit's showing a half. Go back to hell. Hmm, she's still in one piece for now. So what is going wrong here? Well, obviously we're not running with our best team. Um I don't have my natural counters either against the... Uh... I don't have my natural counters either against... These guys... I really, 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 really do hope that that is the two, uh, two same people. And using RPGs wasn't that great either, because uh, I couldn't get the full use out of it. The Marshak bodyguards are the ones that's currently hurting me the most. Um, I'm gonna keep the car in the back. No more car. Lucky, very lucky me. Kill trap, are you for real? Okay, that's gonna be interesting. Never mind, this is way more interesting. Advanced medicates. Wow, yeah, I almost killed her. Almost killed her. Oosh. Pretty bad. We'll miss Sork the Bushy. A little I can do about it. Man, that's actually a really painful loss the more I think about it. Panic? <laughs> Let's finish this. He definitely wasn't the one panicking here. Yeah, look at my uh, time unit issues. I'm surprised she survived that. Okay, I'm sorry to tell you, Engineer, but you just... <sighs> Engineer's gonna have to die. 
yeah, the engineer is gonna have to die. I tried, I tried, in my defense I tried. As hard as I could. He didn't want to live, not my fault. Which double sucks, because this guy also bled out. Oh well. Yeah, <laughs> anyways. Moving on. Um, this mission will have probably been... Uh, better doable if I actually have proper poison daggers. Pretty damn sure of it. I need to get out of here. And I hadn't brought Glam Brill Gun. That was really just the moment of desperation for me. Okay, so yes, um... I was gonna make a comment about what actually happened to the guy with the uh, finger magic, but the guy with the finger magic uh, decided to finger magic me. <sighs> I think there's somebody here. Yeah, but the thingy from uh, really just hurt me. We have a few more people. <sighs> okay, he's not here, which is both. Okay, so that was him. That was him. That was him. All right. Now we know. That's that's the part that I care about. Now we know. For once, I actually didn't make any assumptions there. That's why I was on edge. Yeah, we're almost done. Um, I absolutely fucking hate this game. Are you for fucking real right now? He's not dead? He's just chilling? Uh, well, at least we survived that. Speak about fucking a good curveball. That is one on one a curveball. That is the biggest curveball I've seen in quite a while. Like one of those uh, Spanish soap operas where, um, aha, you actually killed my twin. It wasn't me at all. I've been here the entire time. 2000 days in sick bay. Um, ironically speaking, uh, it would be a new record. We had one person who was in the sick bay for uh, 140. 141 days, so this will get to be the record, right? Let's hope that we can cap her, and I guess I will call it even. We got to cap her. So we lost, unfortunately, Zork the Bushy, which is actually a really painful loss. He's been an incredible person, like, just fantastic. His contributions will uh, vastly be missed. Ooh, Gun Almanac. So this is what I'm thinking. We are gonna research the hunting la- uh, We're gonna try to proc the hunting laser, the OAC chain cannon we're probably gonna research, and then we're gonna research the 50mm cannon parts. Yeah. I lost the hero, can you believe it? I was a bit naive thinking that an RPG would eliminate a uh, Martian bodyguard, but I saw it happen so often, I figured it would be the case again. Or, actually I don't think he was a hero, he might have been a lunatic that we recruited. Ah oh, shit, storage space is full. Oh shit. Alright, time to get yelled at. So most likely what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell a whole bunch of uh, plastic steel and a whole bunch of helium. Oh wow, okay. Um some ship engines. Boom, 3.3 million. Cannoneer. We cleared it out though. Yeah, there you go, Zork the Bushi. Uh, though my gut is telling me that if we ever get our hands on a um, Savalinga stone, he's resurrectable. So, 
Maybe we'll see him back. Maybe. Senior assassin. Well, we survived that though. We survived that ordeal. Goes without saying that that's a terror ship and a envoy that we dealt with. Also, if we were to jump to the memorial real quick. Can we check out Zork the Bushi? Um, no, he was a hero. He was a hero who was lightning fast. You know, it's very possible we might see a comeback of Zork the Bushi. But that's not here or now. Let's uh, quickly take a peek at our hands. Locks, vaults, all hideouts, and then Sa Sevalinga. So we don't have any of those available. Just want to double check because some things have been uh, slapped all over the place. <laughs> Nekomimi, and not enough batteries, that's okay. Uh, we can actually buy the batteries. I have plenty of batteries in my first base, but those will be for the claw. And there you have it. Okay, so um, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's train some people. Not war beasts, though. Hell no. Hell no. No war beasts. Loknars, young ogres, space caddy warriors, damsels. And then I want to take one person with me who can clear out the inside of the craft quite reliably. Lurking Puma. Did I ever ship over the Legion armor? I don't think I did. So I think we're gonna make some more Legion uh, armor. I keep saying that and then I'm like, no, I'm only saying that because I hate switching between different uh, Legion armors. But I think we could make use of a few additional ones, just in case. Flycat, 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 and Lurking Puma over here is also going to be a flycat. Cool. Then we go to our hideout, and then we say, hey, I want to ship Legion Armor Damage too. Woohoo! Okay, we have two damage legion armors. I didn't, uh, I wasn't aware of that. And then we probably are gonna be running around with a few shotguns. Uh. And UAC carbines. I don't want to go for caps. I actually don't want to go for caps, I just want to go for training. Guild actually never has vehicles on terror ships, really? Okay, cool. Okay, well, I stand absolutely corrected. Oh, fuck me. I'm probably thinking about the mercenaries. The mercenaries are the ones that actually have um, tanks with shields. I've, I believe the trader guild only has regular tanks without shields. Yeah, hover tanks. That's probably what I'm thinking about. God, it just dawned on me. Right, remember, um, just a simple trainings mission. Uh, ahem, sorry, this is not going to be a trainings mission, we're just going to kill. 0.5 seconds into the mission. Oh yeah, don't worry, it's going to be a trainings mission. Yeah, no, um... I absolutely hate the landscape. I'd like to go on record and say I absolutely hate the landscape here. I'm still mentally treating this as a trainings mission, please send help. So, um, yeah, let's clear this out. 
I'm actually really glad. So I've been talking about the terror ship and how I'm threading the terror ship, but I'm actually really glad how the envoy turned out to be, or how the envoy ended up, uh, you know, turning out. However the hell you want to phrase it. The envoy actually had plasma weapons. They had plasma weapons, they had heavy plasma weapons, and we managed to do it without anybody dying. Actually quite happy about that. Okay, there. Uh, that's all the talking uh, that I will be doing about that. <laughs> Let's see what we can find. I don't know, there's certain missions that you do that just will feel incredibly satisfying, and then there's missions you will do that will feel less than satisfying. And we qualifies as a satisfying mission. <laughs> I'm sorry, I mean, ah, oh no, I died. So yeah, this right here, this guy, he is a priority target um, that I should have been prepping for. And I did not prep for it, but hopefully... There we go. Easy peasy lemon so squeezy. Let's keep going. So yeah, no caps today. Not here. Not at this particular uh, juncture. Unless, of course, the perfect opportunity arises, that is. Mostly because this crew just is... Uh, sorry, mostly because this terrain is just absolutely awful. And this crew doesn't uh, have the time units to really uh, be that mobile. Besides the flycats. The flycats are fantastically uh, mobile. Right in the back. Right, so he's still bleeding out. What engineer? I didn't see any engineer aboard. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll do a sweep around the craft. We'll try to find any stragglers outside and then we clear out the inside of the craft. But yeah, uh, getting an engineer might actually be quite uh, handy. That's why I still took somebody with me who actually knows a thing or two about um, things. So that we can still do the capping. I was supposed to be lurking Puma, uh, but could still do a thing or two. Come on, there. This is escalating at an incredibly rapid pace, I'll admit. And of course, I've already moved uh, the majority of my people, which leaves me with just lurking Puma. Let's see how this plays out, I'm a bit concerned.
but not about you. Why did we not go through the roof again? Why did we not go through the roof? That was so weird. Can you not move from the roof down into the craft itself? Is that even a thing? Okay, um... What about my tides? Uh, I could, could use one. Done. Uh, jungle. Makini? Yeah, Makini could use one as well. Great. Makini, we need to talk. Um, that wasn't cool. Olga? Emily. Okay, Emily got experience. Okay, there we go. Then we have Macy. Oh, this is Jungo. Okay, that's done rounds, good. Just had to make sure. Then we have Macy, Helga and Natsnia. Right, Macy and Helga. Mm. Okay, Macy. Okay, so I think Macy is just going to be quite unfortunate. Don't think she can land the shot at all. It remind me to taunt people when it actually matters and not whenever. <laughs> Uh, not whenever um, we're in a good safe spot. Alright, well that is actually a good chunk of experience that I'm glad for. Oh my god, come on! There we go, thank you, pal. The guy thinks he has moves, well... Yet he might be... Yeah, we can actually go through the roof. I have no idea why the hell we started walking around earlier, but that's cool. And then we're done. So everybody besides Natisha, uh, Na Nastasia got experience, which is fantastic, considering the fact that it was not a training mission. Um... Move on. I'm sure the engineer is not made out of vibranium. Um, clearly he was just waiting for the magic touch. That was dedicated, I'll give that. I'll give him that. Ching ching. Onwards and upwards. Today has been a very busy day, hasn't it? Power station! This facility, while quite expensive to build, immediately starts to be a cash earner since it can be used to power other facilities and any excess electricity can be sold. We will need this facility for any manufacturing processes that require unusual high energy densities. Fueled by the underbase sludge, it also provides extractor function but does not provide any workspace. Constructing this facility requires two ship engines, so yes. Let's get to building, but first, let's get to enslaving. So, kill trap, check. Uh, Geos, check. We're not gonna do the Ninja Kel stuff. I'll explain here in a second. Okay. So, we're gonna have to ship to a Shosho's Retreat an Exquisite Lingerie. Now, I don't have a lot of Exquisite Lingerie because I've been using it to enslave Ninja Gals. And we need Exquisite Lingerie to do the following. 
something I've been forgetting for a very long time, and I kept talking about it nonetheless. Huh? So plate. We're gonna be making six of these. This is solid. It will only take 18, uh, 18 days to complete, but it will be worth it. Now uh, that we have that behind us, let's start shipping at least some power stuff to production A. So ship engines is what we need, two of them to be precise. Um, I'm gonna be honest, my gut is telling me. My gut is absolutely telling me we need power stations. Over in El Crazy Gato and Neko Cave, the power refinery. I'm actually gonna pull up the Expedia page um, just to verify this this claim that I'm making that the refinery requires a uh, energy station. But I think I'm gonna build them nonetheless. No, no, I'm probably not gonna build them. To be fair. Nope, services required an extractor, but a power station does provide an uh, extractor, but um, it does not provide the workshop spaces. Now, if we were to go back to the game, you can see that we have no extractors whatsoever. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we'll probably build a power station just because it generates a little bit of cash. Yeah, exactly. They're nice cash flows. Uh, which means that the overcharge radar, as cool and handy as it has been, uh, will officially be saying its final goodbyes. If I wasn't going to build right on top of them in a bit. So, first of all, we're going to be shipping to El Crazy Gato, ship engines, two of them. Tap, tap. Or ship documentation one day. Second of all, um, second base as well, two ship engines, and then we probably also got to ship two more final base, which is the cat rounds, two more ship engines. That makes a total of all the ship engines. And then over here we can eventually expand with the power station as well, but that's gonna take like four months to complete. Anyways, yep, 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 yep. It's cool though, it's really cool. I wasn't quick enough. <laughs> I like power stations. I know, I know. There's people who are screaming at me. I fully agree. You should be screaming at me. Well deserved. Let's continue our research. So, heavy flamer is next. That's what we need for advanced chemistry. Advanced chemistry is what we need for a refinery. Now, Besides the refinery, uh, we also talked a little bit about knockout grenades, which requires medical examination, which requires academy medicine and a helium charm. We can already get started on the helium charm. Yeah, exactly. It also allows me to make the good batteries. Hey there, silly boy. How you doing? And let's continue with fusion arch, I guess. I do want to start proccing some of these things as well. Free up some capacity. Also, we're not out of Academy Engineers. We have seven of them. I keep acting as if we're out of Academy Engineers when that's not the case. I should be researching the Confederate Airborne. I'm holding off on the uh, recruitable sin on purpose. We'll see. Okay, onwards and upwards. Demon God Shrine, hell yes. Loknarsh. Wait, hold on. Alright, Loknarsh, it is time. For a shrine. And for you to shine. I, I have nothing else to add to it. 
Uh, but no, we're finally gonna be doing our first look in our shrine. These things can actually yield amazing results, and I hope that we're gonna be that fortunate today. Um, there has been stuff that I've been trying to proc certain shrines, uh, hoping to get certain shrines, and just it not happening. No matter how hard we tried, we just didn't get the shrine that we were looking for, so I hope we're gonna be lucky today. Uh, but there is no guarantee for that. Let's take some Warbeast with us. Did I never replenish my other Warbeast? I guess I didn't. Um, Slayer, Slayer, Slayer. Tick, tick, tick. Hey, 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 hey. What do you mean we're out of Slayer armor? Maybe I wait a day. Maybe I wait a day. How's my character doing? I have some bad news for you, uh... Some bad news for you there, uh, Necros. You're still alive. Life and kicking. Matter of fact, you're kicking so hard, you're currently kicking it back as a space queen, but you are fully operational. Um, in total, you've been doing 91 battles with 203 kills, which is a uh, sizable amount. You have built up quite a bit of uh, experience. And matter of fact, your second, uh, you've been a service for a little over a year. Some good stuff, look at that, trigger happy. Very, very nice, that's the boot. Matter of fact, you are probably my go-to meleeer at the moment, believe it or not. How the fuck did I get 203 kills? One at a time! That's how you got them. Your melee uh, skills are unchallenged. Absolutely hate black talents. I think you might actually have one of the most kills. Uh, the other contesters are Creamy Prisha, 101, Shirojira, 90, Istar, 120, Ligdi Split, 120, and I have one more person to check, which in this particular case will be Pleasure Wake with 202! Ho ho ho! Wow, you guys are uh, almost tight, that's impressive. That is actually impressive. Right, let's repair the Human Legion armor. Alright, we're gonna be expanding with the power station. Beep boop boop. Cannot build here, that's right, we can't. What items do you manufacture for profit at this point in the campaign? So, I've been... <laughs> um, going berserk on Chateau de la Mort. But I think I should have been using finely distilled rum. So, at this point I think you should be using finely distilled rum. Once you're done with that, you need to switch to Chateau de la Mort. If you have neither of those two, you should do either Hilarium Distilling or Improved Hilarium Distilling. But I've weirdly pivoted into mini mate outfits. I can't really remember why. Well, I mean, for some bases where I don't have an extractor, it makes sense, but... Why not Hilarium Distilling over here? Let's say that we're doing Hilarium Distilling, right? Did you blow up the radars? Yes. But they were my secondary radars. I've only kept them around for... Um... Actually, yes. Let's make it infinite. So this will yield me 9k, whereas this will yield me 4k. Okay, I should definitely be doing this instead. Delirium distilling, but otherwise um, I'm sticking. If I don't have an extractor, I'm using the mini made outfits, but it doesn't matter. Um, the main things are Chateau de la Mort and finally distilled rum. They usually uh, allow you to net quite a bit of cash. Ooh, actually, I lied. There's one more. Cigar El Comodantes. So, uh, we have currently two bases and soon a third base. Basically, what they're doing is they are... We have wheat plantations and we roll them into cigar Okomodantes and sell those. 
If you keep this rolling uh, all month long, it will be 1 million. Of course, Chateau de la Mort, I do believe, is a lot better. 3 million. But if you don't have access to apples or coconuts for the finely distilled rum, it's uh, Scar El Comodantes. This makes good profit. Yeah, um, correct. I've actually gone through the entire painful thing of doing mathematics. And medical supplies is slightly better. Like, it's slightly better, it's more sector wheat efficient. That's the main takeaway. But if you start making your own chemicals, then you're in for the money. And it skills better. Because um, it requires less sector wheat. So that's our plan. We're gonna take down one of the wheat plantations, we're gonna, we're gonna replace it with a refinery. And then we're basically gonna produce our own chemicals, our own sector wheat, and turn it into medical supplies and sell that. But, again, I might be wrong about it. That's also a possibility. By the way, here's the hyperwave decoder. Yeah, sure. We'll continue. Let me guess, I actually never fixed this, did I? No, I did, I did. Help me. Hyperwave Decoder has its own radar. It is a radar, yes. It's a radar with a larger range as well, compared to... Um, overcharge radar. Ah, Trophy Gambler, let's do it. Offering to the Purple Bloom, let's do it. Oh shit. Uh, the Overcharge later is also a base defense, so... Not a base defense, it's also a... Um, yeah, a base defense. That's why you might want to keep them around if you don't really need to tear them down. Do I need mutant lasers? I probably do, don't I? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna make a little bit of a detour. Ship engine has arrived in cat realms as well, and then we're gonna be expanding with the power station over here too. We hold our base. It's still under construction. So what I might actually want to do is build a corridor stretching from here to here. Just so I can speed this up. Probably what we're gonna do because we have the cash for it. Um, it takes 8 days to construct 28. Yeah, I have queues enabled. Um, I think this is actually also quite cruel, because if this base gets taken out, all the money of the queues just gets evaporated, if I remember correctly. It's 28 days, 28, 28, 36. This will be done in 36 days, and then we can get started on that. Um, this will be done in 21. This will be done in 29, this will be done in... So this is 29, this is 28, so it's better to actually build it like this. Because then we can get started on the onsen just a bit earlier. Voila! Saved ourselves 16 days. Actually sounds quite, uh, quite pathetic. <laughs> 16 days, but yeah. And we're going to be researching the uh, token Ground Vehicle Race, the Abyss. Yeah, good luck with that. T 
silver bounty hunter thatch. We never, never got a, um, we never got a goblin. Uh, it's goblin, jeez, a gnome. Never got a, uh, gnome anymore. We had the one with zombies pop up, and that's it. A bit disappointed. The saints, your saints are as drone or recruit, willing to accept your lead. It's a peasant sniper. I actually don't know about the peasant sniper. Probably send them to the wrong uh, prison. Yeah, so I've heard. Oh, six of them? That's incredible. <laughs> Craft weapons assembly. Craft weapons assembly. Not every weapon we loot of enemy ships is made in Stargot's plug and play standard. Sometimes we have to figure out the installation ourselves, which may require finding more weapon parts. The more advanced of them will, uh, the more advanced of them will require a workshop and further research. Which, fortunately, we both have. Why did I need? Why did I need craft assembly weapons again? I think something like advanced craft assembly, but why did I need that? Anyways, uh, cannon parts. Chaos cannons. Mm. Maybe. Over books Gnome Tome 5. The Gnome! Uh, sorry, this work of fiction tells about the type of gnome who travels around the world looking for some very rare book. She's a complete bookworm. You can talk her into practically anything if any books are involved. Because of that, she naturally gets somehow laid a lot with bookish type men. Especially those who can also sport handsome faces and fabulous mu uh, muscles. Mustaches. Fabulous moustaches. Uh, the gnome's color is tireless in her case for this legendary book, though, and never stays long in one place. She doesn't find it before the story ends. Instinctively, just I read it as. Uh... I never actually uh, got an additional brainer here, did I? Nope. In five days, we'll have an extractor. Before we actually queue that up, we'll take a peek here and see what we try to uh, use craft weapon assembly for. Either way, long bow acid arrows. Sometimes enemies are just too heavily armored to engage them directly. To soften them up, we have invented these arrows with bulky heads which shed their own impact and release armor eating acid. Someone skilled with a long bow can deliver them to the target from a safe distance. Okay, so I grabbed craft weapon assembly. I think it was for advanced craft weapon assembly because it leads to industrial tools. And I need industrial tools for a factory. No. Advanced firearms? No. Pirate lingerie. Hell, maybe even a tank if we're, uh, if we're lucky, but yeah. So that means that that should probably be the next thing I should be researching. What do I need for... Um, next one is a computer core, isn't it? Data center. But yeah, Magno Harmoni uh, Mag Magneto Harmonics is also quite important, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Um, combat bow explosive arrows is not needed. Wait, hold up. Why can I not research advanced craft stuff? I don't want to look it up. I really don't want to look it up. 
Uh, let's understand the power of sniping uh, for once and figure out if we want to recruit. A Raider Scout. We need activities political, that's why I paused. It suddenly dawned on me, we need activities political. By the way, we had a mission to do, and I was waiting for a Lochner to be done. Welcome aboard... Ramia. Alright, let's get going. This should be an easy mission. Uh, welcome to the park, nothing to be concerned or worried about. Ooh, besides Helga. And then Stasha. I'd like to go on record and say um, we need to be careful. Uh, spiders will be stun resistant, or we will not be able to stun spiders with the assault shotgun, so we should probably uh, instead equip, you know, regular shotguns. Ghosts in these. Alright, oh, yes, we've never actually encountered ghosts. I'm just gonna say that right off the bat. Um, but I think we've talked about this before, and it just made me uh, cry a little on the inside because. I don't even know if that vault even exists, but at some point I was fighting ghosts with 8 gals, which was the like Treasure Island mission. And it was an absolute shit show of a nightmare. Um, it was it, it it was something alright. It was really really bad. So whenever I hear ghost, I'm like, oh fuck. It was especially rough because it was the first or second time I was doing it, I think. So let's see what we're dealing with. Could be uh, easy, could be painful. Yeah, straight out of an undersea mission to hell. It's like, I remember doing it the first time and I already was struggling with the sea mission because uh, back then we only had bikinis. I was like, oh yeah, we've managed to do it, look at us. And then it's like, alright, now for the second part of the mission. Wait, what? Second part? It's not gonna be that bad, right? And the work goes and I can't deal with them. That's absolutely hate bats. Anyways, I'm rambling on, I'm so sorry. Goblin Road seemed a bit overtuned this version, producing 42 profit per run an hour and, requir and requiring a workshop if you buy the components. Meanwhile, finally distilled rum is only 44. Wow, yeah, that's pretty good. Doubling rockets, the spike rockets. I'm actually very glad to see Death Hell proof. I'm gonna be so sad when she dies, considering the fact that she, you know... Uh, survived against uh, an onslaught of, who was it? Imps. Crip. <laughs> Nowhere near as broken as some items in the previous version. Um, I won't be surprised. I don't know any of them from the top of my head, but I won't be surprised. Oh, hi! Goodbye! Okay... It's gonna be like that then, I guess. Goodbye. Yeah, Mini Bikini in the first cat of the day was as good as you thought without any requirements. Not even surprised. 
I think I might actually have made mini bikinis back then, that's why I'm currently making mini maid outfits, because I automatically remembered that uh, mini was pretty good. I just can't remember the exact outfit. Alright, who's gonna get stunned? Nobody yet. Cool. The Imperox are twice as good as Chateau de la Mort in N6. Oh, I never really did anything with that. Oh, really? Damn it. Okay, so there is a path right over here. Um, but that's... I, I want to say that's neat, but yeah, that's special. So probably we're going to pull these people back and then uh, go for the entrance. Oh no, help! Let's stay that. Alright, um, yeah, I think we're practically done with this mission. Just a few more uh, pets to kill, and then we can go home. I always uh, get very optimistic that we're almost done. I always get very optimistic that we're almost done. I always get very optimistic. Not enough energy. Oh well. Kebab could turn into shish kebab. Uh, poor guy. Yeah, so I obviously played that way too aggressive. And these things happen. Notice the sheer amount of attacks that they're lashing out there, yeah. Also, these guys are uh, pretty rookie. They will not be able to get a good shot off. Or shit's hit, shit hits the fan. Oh yeah, right, there is a doggo. Alright, spot. Okay, that's an incredibly disappointing spot. I expect better. Okay guys, obviously what's happening here is just not working for me. Um... So at this point I'm starting to wonder if I should just re-evaluate and just play it a bit more calm because blitzing in obviously is uh, not the best thing that has ever come out of us uh, trying to work as a team. Okay, 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 this is a shit show, I'll admit, this is a shit show, and we're just gonna double down on the shit show, let's go. Ooh, overstun. Wow, straight up killed. I didn't even think they would be able to straight up kill me there, um... 
did not expect that at all. What a surprise. That's one. That's two. Yeah. Yeah, they are. And that's a problem. So we only lost one hand, luckily enough. Um, I played it too aggressive. Way too aggressive, but that's okay, we got the uh, teachings of fire. It's mostly because I thought that they would not be able to kill me. Um, or that there were like six of them, I thought there were three of them down there. Uh, so yeah, the Lokner Avenger armor, we gotta research it. I'll probably research this in the current base. Dildo can remain where she is. Teachings of Fire can remain where it is as well. Titan Blitz probably would need to go to production A, and that's it. Yeah, it's not too bad, but I feel like I could have done a lot better if I had been more cautious, because... I should have been more cautious. Well, easy come, easy go. Bye bye, Lokner. And then we recruit another damsel. Well, it happens. It happens. It's not like uh, we're gonna be running out of people anytime soon, so... Why are we ignoring that mission down there again? Ah, ground race, right. Vampire dude, item plates, Nekomimi nuclear batteries, old coins. Guild engineer, the, 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 the divine code. When it comes to computer code, Starcodes are truly worthy of their title. Their encryption software is unbreakable and their compression algorithms approach an average 99% size reduction on large amounts of data, making interstellar communications much easier and allowing them to keep entire personas stored digitally on relatively small electronic crystal matrices. The math involved is truly beyond human understanding, but we have procured a selection of maintenance tools and backdoors to penetrate their locks and exclusive software that could allow us to run powerful data centers of our own. This is one of the big two. It's guild engineering and divine code. Those two together form the two big things that you can get from guild engineer. So even though it's not, no guild engineering, it's still a good win. Just fly over and then coast over the finish line using your wheels. Yes, I promise I did not use the uh, engines. Anyways, we have uh, we have another engineer to proc. And gambler, you become famous for your addiction to gambling, for better or worse. Better or worse. What could you do with Jack's batch of uh, Jack's uh, batch of favor again? Redeem it. Oh yeah, right. I knew I wasn't crazy. I was just like, where's that option? Okay. And then I'd like to ship to our main base uh, more engineers. Um, we do have two guild engineers waiting there, but we don't have any academy engineers. So let's send one over. Because that's all we can hold there. One. And one brainer's arrived in Cataway. Which we'll have to wait for a bit. Noldy Holo, Edgy, Orbanek, and Shy He Cat. He Kate? Those are our new cat girls, and they're instantly gonna undergo training. Let's see. Transform. Ooh, and every clutch can actually become a. Uh, Glory to the Caddy Warrior. Militia training for our damsel. Oh, one of one of those three is actually a damsel. The other two, space cadets. Academy engineer, which we are going to research. Again, um, I really would need to proc academy engineering, so it will take a while. It will take quite a while. I should also be interrogating sailors. Um, I don't want to get into that though. 
A church boot camp. All right, we have a church boot camp. Um, that's gonna be fun, even though it's gonna be scorching hot. But that will be a fun for another time. I'm gonna wrap it up here for tonight. Uh, it is high time that uh, I get some sleep. So, church boot camp is next, and then we'll keep uh, interrogating those brainers. For now, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you next time, and uh, take care. Have a good one.